Now, Leon, right. you have been uh, in meditation without blood for several nights as part of your ritual to move over from humanity to your new path. Um, so that's where Leon has been recently. But uh, as for the rest of you, I'm going to roll for blood. You're going to be starting at nothing. Okay. Huh. Did I have to do anything special to change? Um, you, you had to get rid of your wife. You sent her away. Yeah, that was and pretty special. <laughs> yeah, you're free now. And you, and you, like a pussy boy, said, oh, I love you. And then she <laughs> 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 I can't believe it. Wow. You said how romantic that was. And was like a pussy boy. Even, even women, when they say how romantic, the subtext is still what a pussy boy. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's just Jean is literally a cock. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Fuck! Um. Uh, <laughs> All right. Can I change that to his demeanor or his nature? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Otherwise, you would be getting willpower points all the time yeah, while like... she's in France. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. cuck is the most overpowered nature. Oh, I guess it is. All right. So, <laughs> Sean, you're starting with eight blood points. All right, please. All right, while I'm doing that, I'm going to get my... Uh, yeah. Josephine, you are starting at full. Awesome. Uh, Hassan, you are starting at 11. Alright. Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna wait for David to get back now before I explain what's happening, but this is the night, we're starting on the night when you were, uh, Leon are gonna come out of seclusion. Yeah. And everyone else, you're gonna be there as well for, you know, because it's your pack member who is leaving behind we're humanity. Because and this is a ritual, and we love those. Yeah. So if you guys want to do any politicking with each other about, about uh, uh, the election the for Ductus... <laughs> and, and understand, it's not well, just... David's gone, it's not feel free. just that you get to be elected as Ductus. I mean, once you once you claim that you want to be the leader of our pack, you do have to do something to prove your worthiness. Right. <laughs> mm, I, see. I will accept the position if people want me to take it. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. So... I don't want to speak for David, but I feel like he would support Stallworth. I mean, you heard him. He's like the... You said, you know, <laughs> if anyone's going to come back from behind, it's him. Exactly. You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, whenever whenever I was given an order from Yamamoto, you know, I, I followed it. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah. all I'm gonna say. <laughs> well, isn't that though the opposite of why you should be in a leadership position? It seems follower. like you're the exact kind of person who follows orders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But with that being said, <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever it was time to act on my own, I also did that. Oh, wow. Let it be known. That I helped guide Hassan into temptation. <laughs> no one asked me to do that. <laughs> All on my own. That was my initiative. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you got Hassan's vote on that one. <laughs> oh my god. I want to see Star Wars run for public office. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Leon, of course, is keeping a straight face as this politicking is going on. Well, I mean, from Leon's perspective, that was pretty good. I mean, that show... It was, but I can see Hassan fuming. <laughs> well, you know, it's twiddling my thumbs. Do you think he holds Very... a grudge the second that one lady looked at Star Wars? 
<laughs> he left over, screamed out to stand. <laughs> yeah, no, I, now, I hold feel, on, I hold feel on. Like there is some aggression, right. some some oh. covert aggression. First of all, I apologized for that. <laughs> yes. Secondly, I waited until I saw him do any sort of aggressive acts. True. Sure. I could have attacked him before he did anything. <laughs> That I would have been really hilarious. Shown the hatred, but, you know. Just, just oh, as soon as she goes, yeah. as soon as she looks over, I was an awfully eventful grabbing my dinner. I see. Okay. Did you cheer your family up? I'm back now. <laughs> oh, I cheered them up so much. They oh. fucking love me. Okay, that's good. <laughs> he came I in there and he was them. like, I kind of depressed them as well. I figured David my, my, went down. My presence kind of depresses them as well because they're constantly reminded that I'm leaving and they. <laughs> Ah, oh, I see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I figured David went down yeah. there and said, and Stallworth, he is seduced Hassan, and no one asked him to do that. <laughs> and they were all like, oh, <laughs> classic. Yep. classic. So while you were gone, um, Stallworth was giving his stump speech about why he should be a leader. <laughs> uh, mm. Surprisingly uh, persuasive. Yeah. I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Really? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> the Emphasis on surprising. <laughs> mm -hmm. The tables may be turning. Anyway, I don't know. So, as I, I, as I said to them, it is not so... Uh, the way the Sabbat works is, yes, we sort of elect, but anybody who wants to be the leader also has to prove themselves worthy. Oh, so it is a competition. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, so yeah, I'm going to be rewriting my memorial speech. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm just letting shit. you know. <laughs> All right. Mm. So each of you have been called uh, to the heart where uh, Leon has been in seclusion. And once you guys are inside, obviously, Jean, your sire, greets you very warmly. And... Uh, you know, links arms with you as... I will link back happily. <laughs> I'm a free man. Yay. Now I can now have I can sex with my son. The, <laughs> the second Prince he got back from here. ditching Haru, oh. that painting went up on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> from women. That's what I'm doing. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alrighty. The bachelor life for me. <laughs> the divine tide rolls. <laughs> Alright, different Don't sin we're exploring this but... time. Different sin, but let it let it go. Alright. Anyway, so you're all brought before uh the rose. Am I there yet? Am I still in seclusion? You're still in seclusion. Um so she tells you guys uh that of course Leon is coming out of seclusion very soon. And uh mm -hmm. She would like you guys to take part in the in the ritual transformation as he leaves behind humanity to move onto another plane. Now, obviously, I've uh, already spoken with you two. She motions towards the twins, and they nod, and they kind of step off on their own. Okay. She turns back to the remaining four of you, however, and says, uh, what I would like each of you to do is to assist your friend Leon in exploring the limits of both pleasure and pain. Mm -hmm. So from each of you, I need you to volunteer uh, for each of these different tasks to both receive and inflict pleasure on Leon, and from Leon, and then mm. to receive and inflict pain upon Leon. At this point, Abigail raises her hand and says, I volunteer to receive pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> the bishop nods and says, granted. <laughs> what would the rest of you like? <laughs> How does this song feel? <laughs> I am uh, confused, I suppose, I would say. <laughs> Give her a bit of a quizzical look. I mean, I'll well, go the other four. choices she either has to 
has to give pleasure or inflict pain or receive yeah, pain. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Choices. I'm aware. It's I'm aware, but just like... the fact that she immediately did this with sex. Well, she knows you. Hmm. <laughs> she so just she, wanted to get in there. She didn't hesitate. So can I ask, uh, is it the idea that one of us has to fill each a, role? Uh, yes. Each role? Yeah. And Call she it took... inflict pain. All right, Thank you're you, inflicting John. pain. You're welcome. Maybe right. you would be genuinely thankful that the puss is doing the inflict. <laughs> I look I look over at um, Joseph. Oh, I'll, I'll go over the receive and play pain. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. You with the no stamina is gonna receive some pain. All right, but you like, but you like it. You're my, you're my he's, masochist. He's trying to it. win an election right now, and this is very important. Exactly. Hand me the ball gag. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm. Uh, you are inflicting, inflicting pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> oh my god. Hassan, you and I have done it before. It's fine. <laughs> have we? Yeah. Actually, yes, you have. Because there was a. There, there was that festival where we both tried to go for Olivia, but she walked off with Jean, so we awkwardly looked at each other and then went... Uh, I see. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Though you were a female back then. Yep. Yeah, I'm a man. It's yeah, going to okay. be fine. Good thing. <laughs> uh, it's bisexual. a good thing he's <laughs> practiced with other men before this. Yeah. Well, you've been <laughs> practiced with the twins, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh. So Leon is changing onto Cathari, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. All right, so each of you are given the opportunity to come up with your what you want to do in order to achieve your task. So I'll give you a little, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no hesitation. Uh, it would have been great if I could inflict pain then, because I have skills skill specifically for that. Yeah, well, unfortunately, well, Joseph... Well, I mean, if you want to switch... Now, you're, you're, in, you're receiving pain, not inflicting. Yeah, you yeah, would have to be with Jean. You're receiving pain. It was Jean who needed to switch. Jean is inflicting my Oh, hey, oh. Doc, could you check your PMs? Okay. Oh, God, are you going to, like, use <laughs> moaning on me? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be <laughs> thankful. It's the, yeah, I, I'm going to be, like, ripped from limb to limb now. As the demon erupts right. from Jean and kills us all. Guess he gets to be leader. <laughs> so since this is such a special day for me, I'm drinking my oolong, my keelong oolong tea here. All right. So we'll handle your starting thing, right, and cool. then we'll let them volunteer to start as they go. All right, so <clears throat> um, I am in lotus position. All right. So you have been told before you began this that as you came out, uh, they would each be basically doing this. Okay. You know which one would be which. Whenever I am ready, I am open All right. to receive this higher enlightenment. All right. So, as you are uh, approaching the state, give me a willpower roll from you. That is six. Uh, I'm not going to probably resist it. Really, just so you know. No, this is okay. uh, as part of your transition. Oh, okay. All right. I suppose you might have to try to resist friends from me. So I don't yeah. hurt you? Yeah. All right. Please don't hurt me. I should have thought before you thought of that before you. <laughs> so you have been uh, concentrating on focusing on mm -hmm. the paths to pleasure, about the, you know, the service you can render to the demiurge and so forth. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, outside, uh, who would like to go first? I'll go first. All right. So I'm inflicting pain right. on him. Is that what I'm? Yeah, sure. Say? So, who tells me what I'm doing to him? Um, well, he can basically suggest what he wants you to do to him. Oh, okay. All right, so here I am. I am, I am, I have zero blood. I'm ready to frenzy. What All right. Do, what do you want, Josephine? Um, 
Would that nerve thing do aggravated damage? <laughs> uh, no, it would uh, not. It's purely oh, okay. about well, pain receptors. We can go with that then. All right. So you enter the room. First off, you're not resisting frenzy. No. All right. She leaps at you and tries to get your blood. <laughs> That's how we're starting. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so if you want to try and resist that, you can. Oh, come on, you're full up. No, I'll, I'll, I'll let it happen. All right. So a, uh, shrieking man leaps atop of you <laughs> and starts tearing out your throat, lapping up the blood, and you are able to get, uh, let's see, you would get up to, if you're drinking three a turn, then you would get up to six... Uh, before you start to come out of your immediate frenzy. Alright, so I can... This is not what it's about. Alright. Be like, okay. I'm good now. Thank you, Josephine. What, what is it that you want from me? <laughs> uh, no problem. And, uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> You can uh, do, just do that. You, you remember that one test of pain we had where you did the stuff with our nerves? Yes, the vicissitude and the, and the nerves. Do you want pleasure or pain? Uh, pain. But yeah, do that. All right. <laughs> the Instantly grab yeah. the nuts. <laughs> he doesn't have nuts. That's He's true. A woman. Huh. Instantly grab him by the pussy. Yeah. I've got a breast and, a, and, and your foot. And your <laughs> I got your breast and your foot, is what I got. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. So you immediately feel uh, the most outrageous pain. Give me uh, a just strength plus body craft. That is six. Oh yeah, you feel an absurd amount of pain <laughs> rack through you, Josephine. Uh, and I am going to uh, need a self-control check from you. Well, actually, give me a courage check first. Ah, that'll be three. Alright, you don't panic as the waves of pain begin rocketing through you. You are, however, basically driven to your knees uh, by the intensity of the experience. Now, uh, give me a self-control check. Uh, is that conviction or instinct? Oh, instinct. Sorry. My bad. Oh, okay. That'll be one. Oh, right. <laughs> None of us are coming out of this. <laughs> All right. You begin uh, just screaming to high heaven. And outside, uh, where, in the waiting room where the other three of you are, uh, you just hear Joseph. <laughs> it's like uh, the Princess Bride. You hear the sound of the ultimate suffering. <laughs> 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 and uh yeah like if i had any willpower that i hadn't used i would get it back yeah right, simply because i'm willfully inflicting pain on a willing subject i am thoroughly enjoyed this is giving me enormous pleasure i want to i mean Wait, we're not to that part yet holy cow you cow. have given me enormous <laughs> pleasure even though I I was supposed to inflict pain on you, but this is Leon is very turned on. I'm just letting you know. All right. Is there anything else you want to do while you're inflicting pain on him, like oh, just I'm, the nerve stuff, or? No, I'm like making out with him at this point. I mean, I am like I am totally like yeah, ready to. You're go. not supposed to be giving pleasure yet. So I, you guys... I I can't help it. I'm not going to resist this. I mean, I giving... mean they're not true. They're not mutually exclusive. Giving pain is what gives me pleasure. So, so you guys so, just exactly. Like, so I don't know. Oh, right there. How do you resist me? Stop. Well, now I'm worried for Happy Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Josephine is all in. Are we, in are we uh, all right. hearing the goings on? With um, you hear the screaming, do you? I mean, so you guys I go guess all the way? I guess it's muffled now that I, if he's willing, yes. Uh, <laughs> it's, John it's... would like to, if the, if the area is closed or whatever, John would like to watch with the host effects. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Divine time! <laughs> John, brand new now. 
Boy, Haru was quite a while <laughs> <lucky, laughs> wasn't it? Just shed that, <laughs> shed those shackles and I would like to drill a people <laughs> and jerk off on the other you side. You know what? Maybe I need to switch paths. <laughs> All right. Maybe next I should sense the sin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so after doing the nerve thing, uh, Leon holds you down and begins having his way with you. Uh, while continuing to inflict pain. Oh, yeah. Because I can infl I don't have to inflict it through my hands. That's true. So. All right. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick one. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, it's all fine. All right. So you are just, like, wrung out like a hand towel. And, uh... That's good. Because <laughs> I took six points of blood from wow. him, too. I mean, I'm, yeah. I am on top of the you world. You could take Let's more blood this. if you wanted to. Uh, I don't want to deplete him too much. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, I'm good. All right. So you guys Stop finish it. up. And, uh, looking shell-shocked, I suppose. <laughs> a little disheveled. Walking Josephine funny. emerges. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I just want to pick hair askew. <laughs> she's walking funny. Yeah. Oh yeah, like yeah, the nerd. I mean, you got like opened up with vicissitude too. There's uh, like a little bit of gore yeah, there. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, wow. That was good. Wow. Yeah, that was good. There's naked. There's like <laughs> vitae ripped. everywhere because the throat got opened up. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Just, I just imagine you like sitting with a smoke, <laughs> stealing slowly. Yeah, I'm like, okay, <laughs> ready. All right. Who's next? Okay, well, if no one else if no one else speaks off, I think I can go next. Five, you don't want. Oh, I would. I want to go next. <laughs> oh, you can go. Fine then, go. All right. All right. You so. So I'm there. Right. There's a gleam in my eye as I look at you. So, <laughs> and I'm looking at Leon. We're kind of. Well, you kind of you seem to have enjoyed yourself. Yes. Did I cut out? Yes, right. you did cut out. But I enjoyed myself, uh -huh. yes. Alright, well, I thought maybe I'd go next to, uh, even though it's not your path, I could teach you a bit about the Divine Tide. Alright. I'm always so you've just enjoyed. Alright, good. You've had an extreme of pleasure right now, so now it's time for the opposite. I'll whip out my gun and shoot him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Give me a dexterity plus firearms. All right. That is. You know what? Can I spend some blood? Uh, you can spend <laughs> one blood point. All right, six. All right. Are you doing a full auto or a single shot? Single shot. All right. I'm draw the second. <laughs> All right. I do hope you walked right up to me and put it up to my forehead. It's more disdainful and cool sure. from a distance. Well, still, you don't want to be too far away. It's true. I mean, yeah. I, I wanted it to be kind of like... <laughs> so I think from far away would be more... All right, what's your damage? Damage is... <clears throat> Seven. All right. For, for your, uh, handgun? Um, uh, yeah, machine pistol, damage seven. Hmm. That's All a right. lot of damage, but it's fine. Is it awfully high? I'm glad I got it, a little blood from Josephine. Uh, that's, yeah, that's for high. Hand me the, uh, book down there. This one here? No, the one underneath it. Uh, this one. That one. Just gonna double check on that. It's not that I care sure. about Leon, but you're gonna get into other fights later, and I want to make sure you lose. So, sure, yeah. so the gun is the Glock 18 machine. So understand that my mentality, being a priest and whatever, knowing that I'm going to the higher plane, is that pleasure and pain yeah, uh, are the same thing. Glock 18 is four damage. You kill me. With oh, that's strange. Damage. Is the two hit also? Uh, the two hit is just your dexterity plus your <clears throat> firearms. Oh, maybe I mix them up or something. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. Strange. Yeah, because I thought your your fire. I thought you had good firearms or good dexterity or something. 
All right. So. <clears throat> All right. What is your stamina? Uh, two. All right. All right. You take three points of damage. All right. All right. So. Yes! I, I would like. I would like you to just kind of Leon's Leon's reaction to All the bullet right. to that. To a bolt. To what is? <laughs> well, are you going to resist frenzy? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, begins charging towards you in a rage. Just loving it. Do ah! <laughs> <laughs> I have a chance to shoot before he re? Yes. If you're at a distance, okay. then yes. Oh well, I'm very glad that I chose to be. <laughs> <laughs> so dexterity All right, plus fire. Case... All right. So this time, uh, full automatic. Okay. Dex plus firearms is now seven. All right. Are you pairing this shot with also running away out of the room? <laughs> I'm just wondering. No. <laughs> yeah, standing all right. his ground. He, he is still right near the door, but he's standing his ground. Stand your ground. It's legal in Florida. <laughs> mm hmm. And we're in our house, so I've got and the castle. And you are a white dog. guy, and I am a black guy, so this <laughs> is like. Florida. Wow, this is. Wow. I've got all the cards in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the frenzying vampire. Wow. Stamina was two. Yes. Right. All right. Uh, so you take one point of damage as he goes just full auto into you as you're running up there. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're not resisting anymore, mm -mm. still. All right. Then, yeah, you uh, jump on and uh, you can right. start uh, getting more, three more <clears throat> blood points. I get three more. All right. Good, because I'm going to have to heal up here, probably. All right. So, Leon's run up and latched on to you. And I'm sucking your blood. <laughs> yeah, you lost three blood sorry. points uh, as well. Of course. Okay. I will press the gun into his abdomen and <laughs> fire open in <laughs> fully automatic. All right. Uh, you are uh, out of ammo, so you are going to have to change clips to do that. It's calmly reload. Well, can I? Can I inflict a uh, pain of listen. my own? It uh, takes. Can I, yeah. can I? Okay. It takes a turn to reload. For fuck's sake! Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> All right. All right. So the, here I do cup the balls, and I do exactly what I did to. Uh, All right. To to Josephine there. So uh, give me a uh, dexterity plus brawl. That is six. All right, you hit. Okay, and then what is it? Strength plus strength plus flesh craft. Plus six. You hit. You find the balls. I do. I grab the balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are large enough for me to find. Barely. <laughs> They're very large, actually. All right. So, uh, as you feel, like, intense pain and, like, bones and muscles altering in your groinal region, <laughs> you take, uh, two points of damage. Wow. And, uh, you finish right. reloading. Well. Open fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Press the gun up to his body. There's no, there's no percent chance of missing. Hopefully. And just full auto it. Yeah, fucking full of All right. Uh, give me a dexterity plus <laughs> firearms. <laughs> Seven. All right. I hope for you this works. We'll see. All right. This isn't quite how I thought it would go. 
but it is close to what you thought would happen. I didn't think you were going to kill Leon. Try not to kill him. All the dice. You just rolled all the dice. All right. You do hit. (laughs) Weird. (laughs) I should hope so. (laughs) (laughs) And your stamina is two? Yeah. You take one point of damage. I take one point of damage from this? Seriously? Yep. Fuck. Okay, so the single shot has done more damage than <laughs> yep, two falls. Well, two shots. And the I'm, and single I'm ignoring shot, my wound penalty. The single I'm shot was right. also to the head, yeah. is the thing. When and you were going just... full auto, you're not aiming at a specific body part, so it just hits but in the torso. Like, anyway, um, and I'm ignoring wound penalties because I'm yes. in frenzy. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Are, are you trying to retreat now? Well, I'm out of the cliff, I'm sorry. All right, <laughs> so uh, he attempts to flee. Wow. I will let it go. This You're going to have to spend a willpower point. I will spend a willpower point to let him go and continue right. on with my ritual. Leon, you escape the room. Or John. What John. <laughs> Little Leon escapes John. the room. Ah! All right, so I have <laughs> inflicted pain and I've received pain, so now... No, Should I inflict place. pleasure now? Uh, Abigail steps forward and says, "I'm, I'm. If you want more time to think about what you're gonna do, I can go next." Would you like to? Okay. <laughs> Very well. Does John come? Does John come limping out of the room? As well? <laughs> yes, yeah, similarly his, beaten. John his, also he's emerges. He's also covered in blood, hair askew, limping out of the room. <laughs> That I have to shake well. my head as John leaves the room. <laughs> my eyes closed. All right. Uh, <laughs> so Abigail, uh, how many, how many how many blood points can I spend to heal myself to just as many as you want? Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was turn based. So yeah, we're not in initiative really. If there's no combat going on. All right. Let me get back up to. All right. So, next, Abigail enters the room. Hmm. Abigail. Okay. Uh, And what is your blood total after you're finished healing? Uh, I have six. Okay. So, she enters and she says, uh, I am here to receive pleasure. Big (laughs) smile from (laughs) Lee. Big smile. And I very gently go over to her. And lead her to what's in the room. <laughs> into we your have, boudoir. Yeah, pretty much into my boudoir. Uh, there you is dig a, a hole in the ground. Yeah, I'm not sure what what. Room it's sort of. It looks kind of like a cheap hotel room, kind of so, a sleazy place. There's, there's a, a magic there's fingers a place bed, where and we can you know, um, well, pop some coins into the magic <laughs> fingers. And uh, yeah, I'll go to town. On I'll say, uh, you know, would you like me to undress you? <laughs> Um, she says, oh, okay, if that's what you want to do. Yes. So, and I just go to work, like, yes. there is, there is, I am vicissituting pleasure, like, every right. touch. Give me a dexterity plus body crafts. Is seven. All right. Hey, Miles, that's your daughter in there. And, I'm, off. and I was a woman once, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it's okay. It's, it's like lesbian, so it's not cuckold. It wouldn't be anyway because she's my quote unquote daughter. <laughs> it also lover. wouldn't be cuckolding because she's my daughter. <laughs> I don't know what kind of. Going on, well, with, for Jean, yeah, the way he lusts after his. <laughs> yeah, so he so he figures it is. <laughs> so he just assumes. <laughs> he just assumes that's the way it all is. Yeah. He just assumes that's normal. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. All right. Yeah. So she is. So what you hear. This time is the screams of pleasure. Yeah, and after a little while, uh, Abigail emerges uh, looking uh, a little bit sheepish and goes over. She's all completely redressed and goes over and sits by the others. With a, with a little prim little Mona Lisa smile on her face. All right, then. Just uh, do we have any sort of cloth in here? I have my own, uh, I have my, um, my scarf. <laughs> uh... 
You could get some cloth if you wanted. Right. You can get some of the strands ripped off of our clothes. <laughs> That's true. Uh, <laughs> right, I'll get some of that then, and then I will <laughs> yeah, go in. Plenty of rags of people that I've ripped clothing. All right. Awesome. Right. So I will go. I am here to inflict pleasure, <laughs> and I will take my scarf and I will tie it still over naked on <laughs> the way the yeah. way that yeah. Hassan always enters every room yes, I, am here to, <laughs> I am here to inflict pleasure I'm on you now pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay and here is here is Leon this is how you enter yeah. Leon is still on the bed naked just sort of <laughs> relaxing right and here's Hassan comes in all formal I am here to inflict pleasure. <laughs> yes. I will take my scarf and I will use it to tie so he can't see, like uh, as a you call a blindfold. Mm. All right. All right, Leon then you are fully. To laugh. I, I have to admit because that was. He knows funny. what he's doing. Okay. Right. You are fully naked, correct? I am. Are you erect? Um. <laughs> Spends a blood point if you I want to be. be. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, I'll ask. Do you want? Do I need to be erect? That will be for the best. All right. <laughs> I am right. full you serious. Watch it arise. You watch I it am arise. here to inflict pleasure. <laughs> do I require an erection? <laughs> it would be for the best. <laughs> He's a professional. So, <laughs> don't let this is serious. <laughs> <I'm really sorry. laughs> so once I have blindfolded Leon, mm -hmm. I'll start to like from behind give him a hand job and edge him closer to. Okay. Um, I'll just edge him in general, well, very slowly, well. very gently. Okay. Ready to be bossed off. Are you I receiving was? the pleasure? I have. <laughs> I love how you're inflicting. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! That was the order I was given. <laughs> oh my God, stop. You don't understand the pleasure. I'll say actually, oh the wording was very specific. I was writing a short story, and at some point, I wrote "inflicting pleasure," and I was so pleased with the way it sounded that when I was writing this later, I'm like, "Well, I gotta use that again." Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. That's well, it's a it good was, choice. It's perfect for Hassan. I mean, nobody else could really pull that off, but Hassan, I can see. Completely formal, no emotion, jerking Leon off. I am inflicting pleasure now. <laughs> Once I've done that and I can feel that he's getting somewhat closer, I will insert myself into it again from behind and start <laughs> increasing the pace. All right, all right. <laughs> She's saying this so, like, straightforwardly. It's amazing. That's the thing, is I'm imagining... This guy always imagine his son oh is, like, a passionate but not, like, vocal lover. He's very workmanlike, but he's not, like... Dead fish. He's just very professional just very as he focused. does he's it. He's just, it is it's like funny. making love to Agent Forty Seven. It's like making love to Go Go Thirteen. 13 is what I was thinking. I, I am going to go into Go Go Thirteen mode here. So yes, I will. I will. You're the woman that Go Go Thirteen is yes, with. As the son is just staring opening forward. Opening myself to the Go Go Thirteen sexual experience. Right. Okay. Anytime I feel like he's getting close to um, finishing. I will pause momentarily and then start a new. All right. Uh, I will do that for uh, a little it's tantric. Uh, yeah, a little tantric in there. Like it, like it. Okay, building me up. Yeah, and once I've done that a few times, I will let him finish. Uh, While doing so myself. It... All right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, of course. All right. Good times. Good times. I should, I should also spend a blood point on that then. Yeah. yeah, you also need to spend a blood point, obviously. All right then. Let's not get carried away here, guys. Yes. yes. <laughs> Spend your blood points. Yes. <laughs> this this show can be the uh, the vehicle for whatever weird sexual perversions, <laughs> but you better spend a blood point first. Yes. <laughs> do you spent. need Do you need any sort of physical rolls for this? By the way, or nope, you're good. Okay. I'm okay. allowing it. Okay. Nice. All right. Do you do? 
See, <laughs> so if there is screaming, do you do the thing where you quietest the area so that <laughs> you see the two of you having sex and Leon screaming Actually, yeah, I absolutely in silence? Will. In silence. That's I absolutely will. Sensory deprivation. Yeah, Leon's, Leon has let himself go. Alright, that's another blood so. point, yeah. I will, yeah. Sensory deprivation <laughs> that, as well. That's actually pretty fucking can't, cool. That's hilarious. Can't see, can't hear. Well, he can't hear, but he can't hear himself. That's okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm open to the experience. So, when the rest of you outside, uh, Leon and uh, <laughs> and Hassan leave together. Okay. And uh, yes, you do transition successfully onto the path of Cathari. You start right. with just the one dot and whatever so, experience you decided to spend during the downtime. And is it current times? Uh, it's current oh. ta rating times two. Times two, okay. I don't know. By the way, for the record, once we do finish in there, I do go, you have done well. <laughs> <laughs> you have again, performed I, adequately. I'm suppressing a laugh. Like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> now, about the vote. <laughs> I understand Joseph was in here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. All my experiences go. All right. Okay. So you guys emerge back out, and uh, Olivia greets you and says, "How do you feel?" Wonderful. I see. I know that Hassan has many ways of inflicting pleasure. <laughs> Yes. I nod. <laughs> yes. All right. So that was an experience. So she kind of pats you on the ass, Hassan, and you as well, Leon, and then goes back over to Jean. All right. I will give a uh, knowing smile to Abigail. <laughs> All right. She will uh, just kind of, you know, look downwards. And uh, is there anything else you guys want to do while you're here with the widows? I'm well, good. Um, yeah, All right. I was gonna say, uh, I'm up for an orgy <laughs> if anybody else is. Well, while that sounds fun. Yeah. So yeah. you know, we just I will accept. Hang out and you know, let's get this party started. So is everyone going to orgy? <laughs> anyone can know, Jean, yeah. anyone can volunteer to there? orgy or not to orgy, no, but if you I'm orgy, in. what were the twins doing? What did the twins do? Uh, they are they're oh. off on their own thing. They haven't come out yet. Oh, actually, is this part of the ritual? It's like still. Um, no. This is like the this is like the punch in the worship hall after the service is yeah, over. Yeah, we're just you know, but I think we should celebrate. This is a uh, this is a this is a big step. In a... Would it be disrespectful of me not to? If you want to, you know, if you want to go home, that's You could fine. just, you could go home. You could stay and watch. You don't have to participate in the orgy. Yeah. You could hang out and, you know, watch the fluids. You can... I'll hang around at first and then maybe join later. All right. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just saying, I'm, in, I'm not like, you know, hey, we should just all like... Anyone who wants to orgy can orgy, but you do have to spend another blood point. Gladly. All right. <laughs> So John, you uh, well, that would leave me. That would leave me kind of. Well, well, well you got we some mine. Get, I was gonna say, can we get a blood point back? You guys, uh, can we exchange blood. You guys people? could all exchange blood if so, you're. That's. Uh, I was thinking more of a sex orgy, but if you guys want to do just a feeding orgy, you can do say, that yeah, as well. I, for I free. mean, yeah, it's gonna be free for all. I am pretty kind of sexed out. I did have quite a bit of sex with some people. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I was just like, let's just all right. get together and... Yeah, you could do just a free-for-all. You know? So just who all, all is there. participating? Olivia will participate. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm You're in. participating, Leon's participating. Uh, I mean, we got some beautiful yes, women here. Josephine, you said you were in. Yep, I am watching. You're watching. Uh, John, you're in. Uh, this isn't relevant to the divine... Um, really, like, getting sexed up? <laughs> uh, you yeah, know. not really a sinful lock, is it? <laughs> um, not particularly. I wouldn't say it really affects it one yeah. way or the other. Yeah, so let's go. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, so <clears throat> so let's do it. 
Getting in there. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, yes, we're pleasuring each other, but we're not necessarily... Yeah, it's like, more of a team-building exercise yeah, than anything. Yeah, I was going to say, we're like... And speaking suck, of team we're building, sucking and you know whatever, and but. Uh. And speaking of team building, why isn't everyone who's involved in the orgy, which is Olivia, Leon, uh, Joseph, and Jean. and Jean, increase your vinculum ratings towards each okay. other? That's good. That's good to know. I think I'm pretty much at the max for <laughs> many of these people. Speaking of vinculum, well, vinculum. not me. <laughs> no, I, I do like Jean a little more. You know, you're much better now that you've lost your wife. <laughs> I do know that. Now that you have eight, comes more shots. Mm -hmm. And nine, and is like the rose involved? What? Who's in a? Um, pack? they're gonna. They're uh standing off for now. Okay. All right. Well, now that Yamamoto's gone, it's. Yep. Pretty much Olivia that I'm in love with. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Okay. All right. All right. So we got some tunes going. Yeah, you guys we're have music. Naked, you guys riding, suck on each other, sucking naked, each other, sucking each just... other off, and then eventually, eventually the party breaks up. All right. And uh, good everyone, times, so. good times, goes back to their haven. <sighs> Where are we? Oh, we're at the secondary haven now. Yes, you guys are at the secondary haven, the suburban house. Are there enough rooms for all of us? There's seven of us. Um, well, it's really, the haven itself is actually the bunker underneath the house, which is just a big common area, essentially. Okay. So there aren't bedrooms enough for all of you, no. You're basically sleeping on cots in a, like, a bomb shelter. Bomb shelter. Question. Yes. Yes. Okay, first question, actually. Um, since Yamamoto is dead, we don't have to follow his rules, right? <laughs> it depends on I mean, whether the next and ductus the and priest together kind of, kind of yeah. insist so, on it. So what rule are you wanting to break? It's up for discussion up now. For well, well, I was just, you know, you know, Madison still back at the hospital. I just wanted to check on her, you know, so I wanted to see if it was okay if I took a vehicle and went to Quebec at some point. So what you're saying is you want to go to a Camarilla city alone and unsupervised. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, why it would it would work out that that's what's happening. Why but don't give, no. Why don't we give a call to the hospital to see how she's doing first? It's a good idea. It's a good idea. And then maybe we'll pick her up if she's ready to be... Um, actually, I did have the, something ready for this. So, um, Madison has gotten out of the hospital, you guys. I assume you've been keeping traps on her. She has gotten out of the hospital, and she has so far been, um, she's still, like, broken bones and stuff. She's still recovering, going through, like, some physical therapy. But she is currently in uh, residence, uh, with her family on the reservation. Oh, okay, so she's not uh, in Quebec. What a dickhead. She's back at her uh, reservation. Okay, so maybe that's best for her for now. Perhaps. I might have to I come mean, steal her. You've got Lewis. Yeah, Lewis has been basically living in the house above ground, you know, keeping suspicion away. Yeah, you're girl's in bits. You might as well just cheat on Yeah, I, I miss Madison, though. Lewis has been very anxious uh, to pleasure you every night while you've been here, now that he sees you all the time. It's like a daily like thing. It. He's available for you. Mm. That's nice, but... Uh... <laughs> do, you, do you take advantage, Sora? Do you avail of this? Uh, wait. Did you ask him I sharing? Well, he's... yeah. I, is he available to anybody else? Oh, I mean, if y'all yeah, want to, I'll recommend his massages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have a daily massage. <laughs> Uh, Louis, um, yeah, he's willing to do that. Okay. Give me, uh, yeah, when he does start to massage you, give me a, uh, intelligence plus a cult roll. That's, uh, seven. Yeah, when he did massage you, you noticed something that was, like, weird about it. It's, he is very good at massages, but it's a little bit 
no one is that good at massages. And I know about like mages and hedge magic and that kind of stuff. It seems like some sort of something that's going yeah. on. He I'm may like, have some sort of supernatural help. No, I'm, I'm gonna say something. I'll be like, you got a little, you got a little something extra, don't you? Says I don't know what you mean. You got some magic. Come on. I'm a priest. I have certain skills. <laughs> I've noticed. That's what I'm saying. Like, have you have you like cultivated them at all? I mean, they could come in useful. I have uh, studied. I mean, obviously, in the sexual area, you've cultivated a little. Bit. <laughs> you know, I'm like, have you branched out at all? Uh, you know, I have taken it upon myself to teach myself certain things. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if you ever... I, I'm, I'm a Kuldunic sorcerer myself. Mm -hmm. Got some experience in these things. So, pack priest, here at your service. Thanks for the massage. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is, is Josephine near when this conversation is happening? Uh, well, not that part conversation in particular, but if Leon wants to have mentioned it over the downtime, then yes. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll be like, did you know he had uh, magic powers? Yeah, well, I know it was magic, but I noticed something was, uh, was up when he was uh, giving me one of those massages. Yeah, yeah, those massages are good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Speaking of uh, downtime, during downtime, I would like to uh, like train with Abigail to like teach her some of the basics of uh, her disciplines, if Absolutely. possible. Absolutely. Oh, and also give All me right. uh, an instincts roll, Leon. Um, instincts. That is one. All right. You have also become addicted to uh, his power. Oh, okay. Lewis's Good. power. All right. <laughs> Everyone's very positive about this. No one's suspicious at all. Well, you know. <laughs> all right. No, I'll probably be like, well, that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> he is bloodbound, right? We think. Oh yeah. Are we all doing different things for downtime? Um, if there was anything in particular you want to have done, um, then you can say. I would now. love some blood. Um, yeah, that does... We rolled for blood at the beginning of the session, so that is not something that really applies. But you can... Oh, just downtime as in... Uh, okay, yes, this yeah, was yeah, previous sorry. downtime. All right. Gotcha. So, once you guys are all back together, <clears throat> um, Beatrice uh, contacts you guys and asks for your main group, not uh, the whole pack, but you guys to come down uh, to the library. What were the twins doing during my ritual? They haven't. They've been they just off went since off. then. It's possible they may be doing something. It may not have been related to your ritual. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> All right. Related to me, but not everything's about you. Uh, you know, I feel like it should be. Anyway, so they ask you to come down and, uh... Speak with them at the library. Okay. So once you guys all arrive, they say, uh, we have been investigating on our own, and we believe it is time to tell you about uh, our interrogation of Haru, what it revealed, and of course, what we have investigated since then. Okay. So they kind of relate what they discovered from the interrogations, and obviously, Jean, you were present for the interrogations, so you already know about this. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, the, she gave the painting to her Camarilla sponsor and told him that it was something that you guys wanted for some reason. So he didn't really know what to do with it, but he did take it. Uh, later on, she revealed that he gave it to a member of the Tremere clan. That's all she learned about it but somehow mm -hmm. it ended up in the hands of the Tremere. Stephen's got it. Mm -hmm. So, 
uh, to that end, uh, they have been investigating, and they set up a meeting with someone who might be able to tell you more. These have been informal and not to be spoken of in public contacts that they have. All right. But you are the ones being sent to go meet with the contact. All right. So the meeting is at a diner about partway between Quebec and Montreal. All right. So we've decided right. who is... Uh... Hassan's still acting Duchess. He is still the. Is that the same? By, by any chance, would that be the diner? same diner I met before? Uh, it is actually yes. Uh oh, that's ominous. All right, so uh, Hassan is still a provisional Duchess until an election is called, and it's kind of okay. incumbent on you guys to call the election whenever you feel. Okay. And when are we doing the memorial for Yamamoto? Uh. Um, a little bit later. Okay. So I feel like at that point, it's like we're going to put Yamamoto to rest and <clears throat> we'll move forward. With an official vote. With an official vote for who? So you're listening, Josephine? That's when the vote will be held. That's so whatever convincing you want to do before then. Contesting wills will begin. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to do any uh, grassroots politicking beforehand. Grassroots politicking? What, what does that mean? That means that you take us aside, put the arm around the so shoulders, you, you know. With the I'd be a great, I'd be a great leader. I don't know about this Hassan guy. I followed orders except when I was leading, and in that case, I gave the orders. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a good uh, leader. Okay. Anyway, so um, anyway, just if you want, if you want to point called out... me in, he told me about Haru. He asked, are you willing to torture her? Are you willing to rape her? Was, are you willing to kill you know, her? I said, yes, Yamamoto, because that's the kind of man I am. You know, that kind of stuff. I that's said, with I'm pleasure. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> look, she turned out to be bad. See, I knew. And she turned out to be evil. I, I am the insight. best judge of character. <laughs> I have a exactly. feeling about exactly. these things. Exactly. I'd be like a great leader. All right. All right. All righty. So you guys arrive uh, at the diner. And... Uh, if you guys want to uh, feed along the way, you have the option to do so while you guys are out. I'm happy to feed. How about everyone are, else? Are we conking somebody over the head? And... Yeah. Well, that's yeah, you guys. Know. What are you going to do yeah. and how are that's you going to do it? Do sure, I can... Are and... uh, uh, there... Would, would my usual strategy work now? Uh, what's your usual strategy? To go find a homeless person in the low of the alley. Uh, it's still like late January, early February. Okay. It is. Damn it! Covered in snow. You know, it's hard to get food in the winter. It is. <laughs> <laughs> they well, nest. We just need to some quick. So uh, yeah. So yeah. So just. I well, guess. I'm supposed to be on the light side of my divine tide now. I'm um, it depends how, like, often you shift between your Divine Tides. It's kind of up to you. Like, early on, you may find it easier to switch back and forth rapidly and then get it longer as time goes on. Um, you have had about a month of done, uh, a month of downtime. So, uh, if you... <laughs> so, could want... I cheaply say that I've been on the good side for that month? If you want yeah. to make that move, I will allow it. Okay, we're back on the bad side, but <laughs> <laughs> let's kill someone. Let's kill someone. Jean went nuts. <laughs> the wife is gone, <laughs> and and he's just wow. He's like George Costanza. I was free and clear. I was living the dream. I was stripped to the waist, eating a block of cheese the size of a car battery. Ab yeah. Abigail is uh, half humanity still, correct? Yes, she is. Yep, she's not even too right, I will tell her that she does not have to be a part of this. She's okay with it. She's like, well, I want to be a part of it. <laughs> uh, she's willing to stand back. She has plenty of blood right now. Well, she might be disappointed to watch you take part in it. I think she has bigger issues at the moment. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you're 
So I guess do we drive around until we find somebody just walking down the street? I'm not, and... Yeah, I'm not taking blood. You could do that. You could that send way. Stalworth out to dominate someone. It's up to you guys. Can we dominate enough people to... I don't need that much blood. I just Well, if you're going to kill them, you don't need that many people, really. So, and I probably will not kill anybody. Well, I mean, if they're all feasting from someone, they're going to die. <laughs> right. But what I'm saying is I would not want to participate in the killing of an innocent human because they should be alive to corrupt themselves. Yeah. That's my path. What a pussy. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want to accept the blood that way, that's not. So what it. I would say is, is um, if it's possible, can we get with the dominating i don't know how much blood everybody that needs. would it would take a, a long time if you're taking like two blood points each uh you guys would not get very many before you need okay. to move then who absolutely needs to feed me well, I'm, at, I'm at six so i i would like to nibble on or something you guys are going to a meeting oh, with yeah. someone secret so I don't know. jean needs to feed and um and joseph and josephine needs to feed that what I'm hearing. So, so you could You're not fall kill somebody. On my blood. I am. I did like suck your blood because you shot me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't let me shoot you more. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, what a pussy. You know. I will also just point out we are in the final story, so you guys may not want to go around on the all bare right, minimum so, you need to avoid starvation. All right, so let's drive okay, around, yeah. find somebody, conk them on the head, and let's just do it. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do it. I think I'm fully healed up from Jean's gun sh shot anyway, so. All right. So uh, why don't you, well, first off, who is the one driving? John, because he's right. only can drive. Give me a uh, dexterity plus, uh, or a wits plus drive, rather. Five. All right. And give me a perception plus alertness. Six. Right. Specialty in being careful. All right. So you manage uh, to find a group of uh, a pair of people in kind of an area with no one else around that you could jump out and grab. Okay. So who's going to do the jumping and the grabbing? Who do you think? I will. All right. Uh, uh, what is your... Yeah, probably either you or me. So you're both good at... You could both go if you I wanted. I would say both of you go. There's two of them. Sure. All right, give me strength plus yeah. yeah. Mine uh, is five. With mine both, is uh, three potents. Mine is seven with three potents. <laughs> Everyone so upgraded that is, their so potents. You just, you know, <laughs> mine is seven with three potents. Miss your blood point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. Each of you easily picks up your guys and just wrenches them in the back seat and snaps their necks. Um, you're like basically pulling fish out of the water and just conking so, them over the head. All right, so they're dead. We're gonna drain mm. them. Was that sixteen points total? That is ten blood points total, ten. divided between you. There's only five. Or twenty blood points? blood points total. I was gonna say ten. Like five blood points enough. Okay, so that's twenty <clears throat> divided between us. Yep. Okay. So, who needs what? Well, I need ten. You need ten. Yeah. Did I like drain uh, you completely? You took three from him. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on three. You're on three. I yeah. would like. I would like four. Greedy cost. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, is Hassan? Does Hassan need any? Uh, I'm at nine, so I could use a few. Well, I need a. Uh... Well, I need seven to be at full, but, uh, how do, how, how y'all want to divvy this? So, David needs If, if you take, if you take four, five and yeah, I take two, we're both at 11. Alright, that's fine. So, what, how many are we all doing? Do I get my four? That's what I mean. Now. I mean, you guys could just split it five each. 
We could. I'm be alright with that. And then Hassan, wait, you're at nine, I'm right? So you I'm at have, nine. You would have one left over, so someone else could take one. So Jean could take an extra. Jean could take okay. the extra. All right. All right. So that will be. Cross. All right. Okay. All, All right. right. We're good. So you drive down, drop off the body on the way out of town, head towards the diner. And uh, you guys yeah. head inside. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. All specs first. Oh, we want to check the place out? Um, yeah. Check for, give me... check for moms. Perception plus... A... All right, give me a second. Uh, give me a perception plus empathy uh, to search for auras. Seven with special... Uh, you do not see any, uh, like, vampiric or ghoul auras inside. It all looks like pretty standard humans to you. So. Uh, sure. Were we, were we told a table specific? Um, you were just told, uh, to go inside and wait. All right. So we're just going to go inside, sit at a table, not order anything. <laughs> so as you guys go in, the guy uh, behind the counter points out uh, you... Oh, wait. What form was Star Wars character in at that point? Was he a man or a woman when you guys went to meet with Haru? I thought it was Hassan that meant went to meet with Haru. Was it Hassan? It was Hassan, wasn't it? Because she ah. came down to Hassan and then he texted... That's, uh... that's right. So he points uh, towards Hassan and Jean said... Hey, you guys been in here before? Yes. <laughs> Do we deny that? <laughs> I've never seen I us. I look at you. I was gonna, I wouldn't. You'd be like, yeah. yeah okay, no, nah, with the sure. likes of you, you stand out like a sore thumb. Yeah. So. You're the terrorist. Yeah. I not. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for bringing your friends. No problem with well, this place. Alright. So you guys sit down and a waitress comes over to take your order. I'll get some coffee. Likewise. Ah, uh, same thing. Do we have money? Yeah. I'll... <laughs> You've got that jewelry. Yeah, we've got American money. You've got you've got American money and Mexican pesos. We have American money. I spent all the Canadian. Oh, you use all the Canadian talk? But Jean's got credit cards. He does have a credit card. So we're fine. Okay, we can pay with that. Yeah. Thanks for spotting us, Jean. Gone. Those are, with my wife gone, all that martial stuff might like run dry now. Alright. Well, oh, yeah, shit. we'll, we'll worry know. about that later. Right now, <laughs> you're using your credit card. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it on the to-do list for us. That sounds yeah. like an end-of-the-month problem. You know, Lewis can take that over. Yeah. So, uh... The waitress is, you know, taking so like four coffees then. Yep, please. Yeah. So uh, she kind of is looking at you, Asana, is like, so uh, you like it black? Or yes. do you care for some cream? Black, please. Black is fine. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were going to say, I don't, I don't know, do you? Leon gives her a week. Oh, yeah, that would have been Leon, actually. Yeah. All right, and she looks over next to John. Cappuccino. <laughs> oh, all right. Or before. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of shit. All right, <laughs> then, um, <laughs> Leon. <laughs> Black. All right, and Josephine. Uh... A little bit of cream, a little bit of sugar. All right. So she brings you guys your coffee. I love how everyone had a specific order of coffee, even though none of you were going to drink it. No, well, I figured we had to do something. <laughs> I figured we had to do something. Right? That's everyone yeah. wanted. I know I'm not going to drink it. Everyone wanted to look cool, but no one knew how ordering coffee. You all thought of different ways. Uh -huh. I went with the first thing she offered. How was that? <laughs> Trying to be cool. I, I always like a black, yes. Yeah. 
I All hate right. black coffee. All right. <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. You felt strongly about one star, did you? Yeah. All right. As you guys are talking okay. about coffee, is <laughs> over at the diner. Chino. A group of <laughs> a group yeah. of men enters that you guys definitely recognize. It is an older man. Uh, <gasps> Stephen Ryan. Is Derek back? A African American and uh, a little white guy. Uh huh. All right. I'm looking at him. And they come over. And uh, they sit down in front of you. This is a big uh -oh. diner table. It's a big table. <laughs> big diner they, table. <laughs> they are trying to look cool, but they also have to scoot over like a freestanding <laughs> table to the booth yeah. and move chairs. <laughs> and move chairs. But, was... but they're. But... Oh, God. <laughs> Steven snaps his fingers yeah. and points, and then Derek and Ryan do it while he stares you guys down. And then they yeah, sit. It's them, all right. <laughs> 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 so the waitress comes over and says wow you're a big party can i take your orders and each of them orders different types of coffee as well <laughs> steve is the only one who can drink it though he actually does drink it <laughs> uh yeah we so all give him our coffee <laughs> yeah we're all we're all dipping ours into his cup and he's just <laughs> drinking it <laughs> ryan's like double cream double sweet and then Derek's. <laughs> and so Steve is just drinking Double a black. Of nasty different Derek's coffees. Double black. Bitter as it comes. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then uh, Steven's like, Earl Grey. Hot. Uh, tea. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. I'll have some Alrighty. perfume served the man's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So it's come out, served to each of you. Stephen withdraws a small flask and pours a little inside and then takes a drink. Well, now that's interesting. Because none of the rest of us are drinking. <laughs> he is actually consuming this. Yeah. And so I'm curious to watch this. Do I know about eat food? Do I know that some vampires can consume human food? It's, uh, something that some you've heard of it, I'm... although you've never seen it. Oh, well, that's an interesting... So what's so, so what, what like, are, are we like, like? Oh, we're staring daggers at each other. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay, tense, okay. Yeah. It's a very tense situation. Well, so, if no one else breaks the silence, uh, Jean would like to ask about the uh, amulet thing. I see. All right. What do you say? I, get, because <laughs> I thought, I thought you were going to say, "So you fucked my wife." <laughs> <laughs> none, of us, none of us have experience with these people other than when they tried to get in the hospital, hospital where you shot them other than jean Except and jean me. no all of you have had experience with them because you were you fought them in the hospital he spoke with them directly no, i said other than in the hospital yes. other than jean yeah. who had the yeah. extra experience yeah. of giving them yeah. the yes okay that's right. right that's right okay so what do you say so have you looked into the amulet? Mr. Higgins. Okay. Has John told me about the amulet? Uh, I don't know. Did you? Uh, it's been a couple months. I'm sure. Okay. Did you say that DeSoto gave the amulet to the Tremere? Yeah, I don't keep secrets. Okay. Unless, I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Did DeSoto tell me to keep that a secret? <laughs> you didn't mention it. You didn't mention it to the to the no, people. So, okay. I mean, you were like, "Oh, I wanted to talk to them because we had a fight." You didn't mention it to the other pack, so I wondered if you had mentioned it to me, since it was my amulet that he took from me. I, I would, I would probably mention it. To All right. Okay. So first off, uh, he corrects you, Professor Higgins. I knew he'd do that. <laughs> <laughs> then he goes on to say. Uh, it has been investigated fully. We are currently dealing with the matter. Suffice to say, that is the reason why I am here this evening. It was... The, I understand you are searching for a painting. Yes. It was transferred 
to a former associate who is no longer a member of our clan. It has since been okay. passed on. And he withdraws a slip of paper, moves it over off of his smaller table onto your booth <laughs> onto table. Table, okay. All right, who's nearest to the paper? Uh, all of you are kind of equidistant. Whatever, I'll flip it over. Sure, so right. what's, what's, what's on it? It gives a location in Haiti. Oh. It's like a post office mm -hmm. box. All right, I recognize this, yes. By the way, Haiti is specifically where you came from. It is. It is very much where I came from. Good. All right. I get to go home. Says this is where uh, our association. Get more dirt from there if I do. <laughs> this is where our association with each other ends. We will handle the matter on our end, and if you wish to find where it was sent. We're free to do so. I might have find out that my sire is like an infernalist or something. Oh, God. Right. Well, he's Haitian. It's a she, I think. I mean, it's as Well, she's Haitian. <laughs> so, Stephen, Ryan, and Derek stand. Ryan and Derek move the table back into <laughs> place so and they the re table. move yeah. <laughs> the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen then says, good evening. And he departs with his two men flanking him. All right. Well, that went well. They didn't really pay for their coffee. Ryan, Ryan flips you off as he leaves. And uh, yes, you do realize they didn't pay for their coffee. Cons. <laughs> they get into a car, and someone seems to have already been in the driver's seat, and they pull out and drive away. It's a away. very nice luxury car. Yeah. <laughs> so, the waitress right, comes guys. back and puts your oh, bill on the I'm... table. I'll slide that over to Jean. Alright, guys, we've got two... We've got two serious... We've got two what? First off, we've got two problems. Mm -hmm. First off, they didn't... Pay the bill. Second off, they didn't drink their coffee, and neither did we. Yeah, well, we were obviously here for a meeting. I think <laughs> the people realized we weren't here for the coffee. <laughs> they. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were pretty obvious that we're just meeting people. It was like a whole Breaking I... Bad thing. They. <laughs> I, I'm sure the the. I'm sure she's not going to be like, oh, hey, you didn't drink your cup. Uh, it's pretty obvious what was going down here. I mean, he slid <laughs> us right. a piece of paper and then left. <laughs> it's pretty obvious what's going down. All Just right. pay the bill. Well, why did we all order fucking drinks? Why didn't one person order? <laughs> no one said, I'll just have some water, please. Well, you know. It's just uh, one of us ordered a drink. Well, oh, you know. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Just pay the bill. I think we can time. spare the expenses. I think it's fine. It'll be fine. Just pay the bill. As a vampire, do you get the taste of food? Um, if you have the eat food merit, then yes. Doesn't it taste like ketchup like put into your, into your mouth? Like, get the taste yeah. spit it back out? It tastes disgusting if you don't have the eat food merit. That's oh. why I was so impressed that, that Stephen was actually food drinking food his tea. Yeah. I mean, he was the only one actually drinking. If you mix blood with regular food, does it taste all right? Um, not really. No, you would like Darn. the blood part of it. It's, it's like something nice in yeah. something awful. Yeah, it's like eating a meal where you like one of the ingredients, but you hate all the others. I see. You mm. keep getting right. like flashes of it being good, and then it just goes back to being awful. All, all right. right. That's well. I think we are going to Haiti. All right, let's do it. Yeah. So you guys uh, are going to have to spend uh, the day resting by the time you get back. It's pretty late. So that takes off a blood <laughs> point. I now carry my dirt with me. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I've learned my lesson. I carry my dirt with me. Well, you get back to the house in plenty okay. of time anyway. So, uh... I'm gonna go ahead. I'm getting more dirt. So I can just have it around. 
The next evening, uh, the librarians call you back, obviously, to discuss what you found. Okay. Um, so, anyway, so we'll show them the note. The painting is in Haiti. I see. Well, that certainly makes sense. Why? Uh... We, uh, have been tracking, uh, a certain infamous infernalist, uh, Sedilia the Tongue, who was most recently spotted, uh, going to Haiti. Sedilia the Tongue? The Tongue. T-O-N-G-U-E, Tongue? Yeah. Have I heard of her, and do I know why she's called the Tongue? <laughs> no, you don't. He's an infamous infernalist. Yeah, this is Elias explaining to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it is almost certainly she that received uh, the painting. Unfortunately, we've had some difficulties there since the Sabbat does not have much of a presence in Haiti. It's largely, of course, controlled by the Setites. Yeah, we know about them. Remember my Haiti days... So, a voodoo priestess. we have, however, <laughs> some good news. We have been analyzing the paintings, and we believe we know now what they are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Each of them shows the major ley lines within the city, uh, as well as uh, through the Zen art style suggests how to repair them and this, we believe, will cut off energy to the demon. Geomancy. We have already... Like they did to that cupola in Transylvania. Mm. We have already uh, taken steps to work with what paintings we have, but we it is imperative asked. that we find... The last one. This one. So... All right. To that end, we are going to continue to fix it with our geomancy, and you can go to Haiti in order to recover the final painting. So I need to go back home. Is my sire still in Haiti? Yes. Uh, last you heard, uh, it is. Can I text him? Uh, yeah. It? Can I text him? Have I been keeping? Am, am I on good terms with them? Am I? Yeah. Uh, it is known by the uh, appellation the taxidermist, okay. and is you know one of the few uh, Sabbat vampires active on the Haiti side of the island. So yeah, okay. So I can take. So I can kind of get. So like, you can. So I'm like texting. Establish uh, contact. Get, yeah. I, I need like a place to stay. Yeah. I got a mission. Uh, I can tell you. Says about when I get that there. these things will be arranged. All right. All right. So I got us hooked up. I got a hook up in Haiti. Bam. We're going to be in some weird place because we're staying with the taxidermist, but you know. <laughs> Before you leave, uh, Elias Ooh. also says there is one other matter since you are going to Haiti. We have investigated the body which looked like Sangris, the former archbishop of the city who oh, was okay. uh -huh, uh -huh. an infernalist. It was the body they found mm -hmm. when. <laughs> Stall or stake that lady. Mm -hmm, okay. We do not believe it to be the infamous former archbishop. Rather, someone oh. who has been made to look like him and whose memories have been tampered with for some purpose. We have done our best to undo the tampering, although it seems to have left him with amnesia. Mm -hmm. All he has been able to tell us is that he is hunting Sangris and Sedelia the Tongue. So they could both be in Haiti. It's possible. Sangris was killed by the Inquisition, like burned at the stake. So how Sangris could still be alive? Well, but they found a body Wait, that looked like Sangris. If they can, yes, they. That's if they him. can, if they can investigate bodies like that, could they investigate the body of Sangris? They could have, well, if um, it, uh, we burned it, so it's It's gone. destroyed. It's destroyed, uh, so we, oops. yeah. That would have been good, but, you know, we were, had some other things. We couldn't have a body with us at the time. Um, so the, the, the person that looked like Sangris has been 
killed by the Inquisition. No, the person that looks like Sangris is the guy who just woke up. He was He's the oh. one who's hunting Sangris and Sedelia the Tongue. Sangris should be dead. Should be, but then we found They him. did confirm that it was him. They don't... The Inquisition doesn't just kill people before it makes sure who it okay. is. Okay, so he was hunting, made to look like Sangris got staked in the thing. Okay, and then... Okay, I think I understand. But he is insistent uh, that he go so he with you. he may have been a member of the Inquisition. It's possible. We okay. don't know who he is right now. And he doesn't know who he is. He wishes to come with you. Wait, is he like, is it going to be a whole Manchurian candidate thing where something's going to trigger? And I would watch be... him carefully. Elias advises you. Oh, God, Elias, what are you doing to me here? If you are willing to take him with you. I don't know. I'm gonna, you know, I, I'm not comfortable with that, but I'll leave it up to the uh, pack. What the rest do you think? Come on, who wants to be Ductus? Make a leadership <laughs> decision here. Show us how you lead. Show us all how you He's lead. He's gonna step forward and make a decision for yeah. the group. Yeah, because you're, cause you're <clears throat> looking for because you're looking for Ductus position. See, my position as priest uh, is secure, so I feel I can. You know, I know, I know. I, I already said I'm fine with continuing to be Ductus, but is that something I'll particularly aim for? <laughs> so, so that's, a, that's a really worrying thought. What are the possible <laughs> benefits and drawbacks of being ductus? You should uh, you should care no, about no, that. of bringing this person uh, oh. with. Okay, so the benefits are that he regains some of that he's an inquisitor. He regains memories and helps us out. Yeah, he's an extra body. He's in, he may yeah. have skills. He may have knowledge about Sedilia that he doesn't know yet, right, exactly. but he may regain. We could unlock. We could. Un he could. He could be like, oh, hey, you know, I, I get it. I know how to fix this situation. That would be. Also, he could turn on you and kill all of you. Yeah, he could be Manchurian. If he's bad. And you know. Okay. Um. So. Question. How strong do we suspect he is? If he's saying he could do all that. Well, um, he doesn't seem particularly strong, but. I mean, can, uh, in their investigations, do we know what his clan is? Do we know, like, what his elder status is? Do we know any of that about him? No? Is his he... blood is... Give me the Montreal book. We would have found out his generation is... Uh, seventh generation, and a Bruja and Teacher Bue. <laughs> so, so that's, uh, that's strong. That higher than us? Um, a seventh bit, yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. We, I'm, I'm tenth. Yeah, so he's, he's older than us. So if he turns on you and you win, you could Diablerize him. We could. Very interesting. Um, but we could diabolize him right now. How, how, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't how about diabolize him right now. How about we take him with him, but we keep him at a low blood level at all times? It's a good idea. But what happens if he just sneak one of us and damn near drain one of us? Yeah, then you, you have know, a problem. It, you know, I mean, the question is, do we do we trust? Do you him trust him or do you not? That's, that's the question. Someone who wants to be a ductus is going to have to make a leadership yep, decision. Gonna, some, yeah, whoever wants to be the, the ductus needs to make a leadership decision. Are we going to trust him or are we not? I vote mm. to trust him. Do you I vote well. or do you tell? <laughs> this is about leadership here, guys. Come on. Ah, I see. I'll, I'll step forward and suggest that we trust him. But keep him under close eye, uh, close surveillance, surveillance is the word. Yes, and I also will say the same thing. He also steps forward and says... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you fit right into that leadership uh, role. Roll the alpha green with someone else. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Exactly. So. <laughs> All right. So he will go with you, and uh, you guys have a little bit of time to prepare. Okay. Um, so exactly what gun, like what weapons, what equipment are you going to try and take with, with you? Me, because I'm going to my dirt. I love it. 
I will say mm. pretty much everything is going to be pretty rough to take with you, except for maybe, like, uh, Hassan's dagger. Curl up my whip into my luggage or whatever. Um, but I won't take any weapons with me. I don't take weapons. Um, I can I bring a dagger and a stake? Um, well, uh... A stake would raise some questions, although it'd be pretty easy to make a stake once you get in. Yeah, I was going to say, we, you know, um, can I text my sire and see if uh, she's, if it has a lead on any possible weapons while we're down there? Uh, it can provide weapons for you. Okay, so we can provide, can, if you can Entire. list some, some, of some things that you would like when we get down there. Uh, it, it didn't say it's going to be at your disposal. It said it will provide weapons. Oh, okay. Well, it can provide stakes and, and whatever yeah. there. So. It'll provide so whatever it feels like. Unless there's something like, because like, we are going to have to probably fly commercial, I'm assuming. Yes. So um, so it's not going to be, we can is, do some carry-on um... luggage and maybe get something through that way, but you're not going to be able to take any weapons on the plane. Okay. So I could I bring with me a legally registered? A gun? Yeah, Did I could have in the, in the A legally right? registered gun? Yeah. Uh, you could do that. However, it would have to be, uh, you know, legally registered in Canada, obviously, and then be also be allowed in Haiti. Okay, so if I recall correctly, Jean had a pistol that uh, he had bought and whatnot, but he had uh, to give it away to the Handguns are not legal for private ownership without, uh, like, specific restrictions. You don't qualify for handgun ownership. You did buy some shotguns, which are registered to Joseph, I think. Uh, ah! Let's look at that. So those well, could be an option. Going down to Haiti to do a little hunting. <laughs> Where the hell did Joseph buy shotguns? Um, I, it actually wasn't Joseph. As I recall, someone took Joseph's ID, fleshcrafted you to make you look like Joseph, and then you bought them for Joseph. Because why the Joseph, hell would I do that? I don't because, remember why. Because Joseph looked like St. Castine, and for whatever reason, we, <laughs> we didn't turn him back into looking like Joseph. We made... That's true, that was the yeah. reason, because he didn't match his ID photo. And he so wasn't around for me to someone flesh craft like him, Joseph. so I had to flesh craft somebody else. Yeah. It was yeah. a long yeah. and convoluted thing. I'll see what happens when you don't trust. Mm hmm Yeah, whatever. So well, you want to show some brain his guns? You want to bring those shotguns with you? Yeah, Joe, bring your guns. Let's do it. All right. All right, close. All right, so you have a couple of shotguns in checked luggage, and you guys take the plane ride to Haiti. All right. Hopefully, it's uneventful. All right. Yeah, the plane trip is, and you guys uh, get off the plane. And you're immediately struck by how comfortable it is. Oh, I love Haiti. It is uh, not below freezing. Home. This is ah. Uh, it's like um. It's like room temperature outside. Neon is just starting to dance. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I am home. Freaking. I too cold. prefer this environment. <laughs> <laughs> But too much humidity. Ah, it is the island life again! <laughs> uh, so, uh, Actually, you would no longer look like Leon because your passport is not oh, for Leon. Oh, I would have to go back to yeah, Lysia. So you I'm, look I'm like Lysia. Lysia again. Okay, so everybody, I'm Lysia again. Just to be clear. Oh, and Josephine, you would have to go back to Joseph again because your passport so, hey, is also... it is all back to the original... Guys, we're back to square one. Everyone is in their original bodies. Okay. So it's Joseph awesome and Elysia. Oh, the times we have He's had. got a penis again now. He does. I'm not eternally a virgin. I still, I still have a penis too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did up, you need to the microphone to say that? <laughs> I've got both. Nice. Yeah. John's like, I would like to explore the dark wow. half of my divine tide with you. Uh -huh. All right. I'm still on the dark tide right now. All right. You have. All right, baby. 
<laughs> you have what my wife could never give me. <laughs> 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 All right. The ultimate life arm. <laughs> so you guys touch down, and as you're kind of just getting off the plane, you see a uh, large tropical bird which flies up directly in front of you guys. Okay. Um, is it my... It looks at you guys to make sure that you guys that it has your attention. Okay, and I'll nod to it. And then it flies off, but slow Let's enough wait. that you guys can follow it. Let's go. All right. So it comes back around and then lands on a small car. Okay. So let's hop in. I'm sure the keys are inside. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> okay. It is a, <laughs> it is really a tiny, uh, cramped little vehicle with all I'm of you a inside small of it. Woman again. By the way, did Abigail come with you? Of course. She did. She's got to prove herself as true Sabat. This is her chance. Right then, she's coming. <laughs> All right. Because I did sit down and have my little talk yep. with her. That if, if she, she, to prove herself, she's got to prove herself useful to the pack. All right. So you guys squeeze all five of you into this tiny little car. So first off, who's driving? Probably John. Or Joseph. Or Joseph. Yeah, I'm fine if he doesn't want to do it. Or do you want to squeeze into the back with me, Jean? Sure. You're cutting out the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're squeezing into the back. Joseph's taking the front. You're in the back as well. Squeezing in the back. So who is taking a shotgun? Hassan, are you going to insist on it, or are you oh, going to allow Abigail? Oh, I'm dragging Abigail into Abigail. the back with me as well. So it's, it's Jean, me, and Abigail. Well, I back. don't know. Well, let's get Hassan's opinion on that. I'll let shotgun then. <laughs> All right. So there's. Just, I don't think this is that big of a decision to make. It's just your daughter having sex in the yep. back seat. Oh yeah, with no, he's just getting out. She is so happy to be home. And John. Woo! Oh yeah, we're we're having. There's giggling back here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's Jean. Jean's just giggling. He's in the middle, just like. Yep. <laughs> like yep. <laughs> yeah. Viva on my path, ladies. All right. So, uh, inside of the glove, uh, well, inside the like the trunk, just behind the back seat, there is a tarp covering several weapons. And then uh, in the glove compartment, there is a map where a area has been circled uh, and marked Haven. Okay. So. All right. Full tank of gas. Yep. All righty. Uh, all right. So inside, uh, under the tarp, to be uh, specific, there is a Smith and Wesson uh, M six eight six revolver. There is a IMI uh, Uzi, submachine gun, a pair of large machetes, and an AK-74, as well as 75,000 Haitian gourds, or whatever the hell their currency is called. It's about $1.50. Uh, it doesn't come to $1.50, that's ridiculous. So if you want to add that to your currency list, uh, David, 75,000 Haitian gourds. I can tell you right now <laughs> that, that is worth 825 euro. <laughs> it, it's worth about $1,000. Wow. <laughs> All right. What a joke. <laughs> hey. Hey. So, uh, by this point, you guys have to uh, land, or, uh, but get to your haven and uh, sleep for the day pretty quick. 
Um, so it is a hunting lodge on the outskirts of the city, and as you guys enter inside, you find that it is filled with taxidermied animals. Uh, there's, like, hmm. animals that are local to the area, there are animals that aren't, there are, like, bears and lions, and they're all stuffed, and they all, like, seem to have eyes that follow you across the room. Whoa. So there are, uh, two bedrooms, as well as one bathroom. Uh, the bathroom and the closets in the bedrooms are sunproofed. Uh, as well, there's also a pantry slash utility room beneath, uh, the place, which is also sunproof. So, where would you guys like to bunker down? Anywhere sunproof is fine for me. Where, where would you prefer? Just give me a location so that I know if something happens during the day, where you're at. Uh, let's see. Closest to the entrance, I guess, in case someone hops in. Alright, so like a closet in a bedroom by the front door. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Alright. Alright. How about everyone else? Well, since he's taking the front door, something close to the entrance, I'll take some closest to, like, the, the back door or whatever. Alright, you can sleep in the closet in the other bedroom. And, uh, the one near the front is the guest bedroom, the one near the back is the master, uh, bedroom, so, uh, your closet, Stalworth, is, is much larger and roomier than, uh, the other one. Excellent. Uh, and the rest of you. Luxury animal over there. I'll sleep with the, I'll sleep with the ultimate life farm. All right. And where <laughs> are you guys gonna? So what are we? What are our choices? Inside the ultimate uh, life farm. Well, you could go. <laughs> That's true. Uh, you guys could uh, go to. They have each taken one of the closets. There's also the bathroom, and the utility room underground. Oh, I would love to be underground, surrounded by my home earth. Ah, I see. Just gross, yeah. And a washer and dryer. And a washer and dryer. <laughs> but by my home earth. You know. And Jean. And Jean. And Abigail, if she wants to join us. Uh, Abigail yeah. will sleep in the bathtub of the bathroom. Okay. All right. All right, so everyone takes off another blood point. Okay. And you guys wake up the next evening. And uh, by phone, uh, the taxidermist has contacted you, um, and I assume you appraised your sire of basically what you're here for. Yeah, I was gonna, right. yeah. Let him know what sort of our mission was and that sort of thing. Says that if you want to try and track down Sedelia the Tongue, uh, it recommends that you speak with uh, the followers of Set. Uh, specifically, Abo is the one you should try and reach. <laughs> Um, it does know that, uh, Abo keeps domain in sort of the slums, uh, slum area of Port Au Prince, um, like a shanty town sort of mm -hmm. place. No, um, the place well. However, uh, you should be aware, of course, that the war is still on mm -hmm. between the Setites and the Sabbat, so you may not have a warm reception. Or you may have a very, very warm reception. It could get hot. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Hopefully we'll have some time to catch up after this mission is over. You know that uh, the tax service does not like to meet in person with people. Oh, oh I know that. Okay. Prefers to be it a little bit standoffish. To, it used to come and visit me when I was a priestess. Uh, well, we'll visit people in animal form. Oh, okay. But it does not come to people physically okay. gotcha. too dangerous here in the satite control thing. yeah gotcha you were advised yourself to always be very careful when okay. you were still living here yes okay all right and i will advise my pack of that as well i'm not sure if they're aware of the whole war that's going on for you 
were you pack mates away? I am now. <laughs> so yeah, so here's a little history yeah. as as we're settling in. Here's a little history of you know Haiti, the uh, controlled by the Septites and their war with the Sabah. Um, so we're gonna go into this old shanty <laughs> and uh, we're gonna meet with one of the um, Septites and hopefully, and hopefully that'll go well. Hopefully. So I am aware of like how Setite like disciplines and things like that. Yeah. Okay. The basics. Okay. All right. So you guys head out to the shanty towns, and uh, as you guys are out there, you notice obviously there are several uh, <laughs> hostile-looking young men mm -hmm. uh, on the street corners watching you go around what do you exactly do you want to get out of the car do you want to drive around what is so how would i have handled this like previously when i was here do you do, do i um, have just, you would never have, have met have with some... the setites because they probably would have killed you well right but like just as in haiti culture like if if i'm a little woman if i'm a voodoo priestess and i'm walking do i have attitude that says you know what i will like probably yeah mess you up young man don't mess with me or you know you shouldn't have any problems with mortals probably yeah. so are these mortal men or we don't know <laughs> i don't know i'll spec some find out i can ask back some yeah <laughs> give me a perception plus uh empathy seven with a specialty Um, you do, uh, see mostly mortal auras. You do see a couple of pale ones. You're not sure if they're vampires or not, or if it's just kind of, like, hazy watching their auras. Um, they, you do think there may be some ghouls possibly out amongst them, although the majority are mortal. What do I know about this? Majority marginal. Some suspicious, maybe ghouls, maybe. What do I know about this area? Um, this area is controlled by the Setites, so it's okay. dangerous. Uh, it's just dangerous, but okay. The Setites control pretty much all of the crime in the area. So, and uh, do I have a meeting location set, or are we coming here no, to you're, ask? No, you're, you're, they, yeah. Okay. The Sabbat has no contacts with the Sabbat. You're here to hope they don't kill you and hope that you can convince them to help you. All right. So, all right. So, I'm going to get out. All right. Everybody be on alert. Very well. Yeah. And I'm going to start asking around. So just to be clear, how has everyone armed themselves? I have my dagger. All right. Uh, did we manage to bring those shotguns with us? Yes, you have two shotguns, the AK-74, the revolver, and the submachine gun. And two machetes. I'll have uh, the over in the AK. I'll have the uh, machetes. <laughs> Go for them. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, if, if, I mean, no one else wants to have uh, I'll, I'll take one of them. Oh, well, I mean, if you want to have one of them, then you'll have some. All right. All right. Does anyone, As a leader, I can share. Does anyone want the submachine gun? I guess I'll take that also. All right. Okay. All right. So be aware. Just be on guard. I'm going to start asking around about this. I'm in full voodoo priestess, like, yeah. regalia, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Looking for this Abu character on some uh, priestly business. All right. Uh, one of the uh, men steps forward towards you and says, What makes you think that Abo wants to talk to you? It is a matter of great importance of the occult. Those are boys, and they point over towards the, uh, the car. Yes. Are they coming with you? 
I would like them to, yes. Gotta disarm yourselves before you go into Siabo. Very well. But I want your word. No harm will come. I can give you uh, my word. Ain't no harm will come unless Abo says so. I want Abo's word. No harm will come. Well, I can uh, send a message, but I don't know what kind of reception you'll get. Steps aside for a few moments. Eventually comes back and says you'll be granted free passage to make a whatever statement you want to make. She makes no promises after that. Very well. All right. So they motion for you to uh, come around, everyone, for everyone to get out of the car. I will ask you to disarm yourselves as a show of good faith. Very well. Really? They take you into like a small little shack and they have like a duffel bag for you to put all the weapons inside. This is very reminiscent. Please, Jean, please don't shoot me in the head here. Jean, calm down. <laughs> murder is a sin. You're and like, we're, I'm having we're, a flashback! <laughs> we're transitioning to the other I light side though. of the divine tide now. So, does everyone disarm themselves? I do. Uh, I trust her judgment. I'm gonna. Yes. I, I, you, okay. you may. You may. You may mean I should have, but I, I see no other way to get into John, this guy. John, was that a yes? And I gotta talk to him. So. Okay. All right. You guys are all disarmed, and then they open up a hatch leading underground. I thought you were gonna stay and then they open fire. Yeah. I was, I was no, no, no. They're waiting until you're way away from your car before they open fire. They take you down yeah, into the earth. And then you see uh, the walls start to uh, change, and you can see that they are now being covered with like hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. And you emerge out into an area that looks like an Egyptian temple, essentially. And there are various people in uh, like uh, sort of medieval uh, Middle Eastern garb just going around. Song. Now you feel at home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so then you are taken forward, eventually brought in front of a, a large dais, and a uh, a woman steps out and says, "Identify yourselves." I am Lysia of Clan Zamitsi here to speak with you about infernalism. And the rest of you? I step forward. I am Hassan of Clan Asamite. Jean of Clan Torridor. Joseph of Clan La Sombra. Hmm. All right. She nods and says, an unlikely coalition. And uh, perhaps you'll also tell me why exactly I should not have you destroyed at this very moment. Because there is an enemy greater than both of us here in Haiti at this time. And who is this enemy you speak of? What was her name? The Tongue? Sedelia the Tongue. Sedelia the Tongue. Oh, by the way, I didn't actually uh, mention this specifically, but uh, um, the guy looks like Sangris. Obviously, there wasn't room for him in the car, and he told you that he would make his own arrangements. Oh, okay. Great. I forgot to mention that earlier. But anyway, he hasn't been with you for a while. So, she nods. <clears throat> and says, what exactly do you intend? Okay. I'm tempted to just tell all here because 
I'm going to assume that the Setites feel about Infernalism the same way The we Setites are. hate Infernalism. Yes. <clears throat> so... Um... Give me a second, I'm going to grab some more water. I'll let you think. All right. <laughs> that water. Not that water. Okay. It's like a full bottle of water here, but he can't drink this one. Gotta get that cool, crisp water. I guess. Mm. So, alright. So, do I just tell all? I mean, and try and get their help? I don't know what yeah. You know, we gotta try and get the painting back so that we can. What are we trying? Well, hopefully. We're trying to get the painting back so that we can defeat the demon in Montreal. Fix the landlines. Right? So that we can they, fix the landlines. Not lines. the landlines, the ley lines. Uh, uh, is part of our mission also to destroy. What's her name? <laughs> She's an infernalist. That's not your mission, yeah. but you should do it, yeah, yes. So, um. So okay, so that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna be. She has a painting that we need to fix Montreal, so that we can control the demon there. And obviously, we need to fight infernalism. Yep. Seems like Montreal though is a great distance from Haiti. Why should it uh, concern us? She is here in your land. Do you think that she will not also try and destroy Haiti? Give me a uh, manipulation uh, or charisma uh, plus uh, empathy. Yeah, that's going to be three. And I love Haiti. <laughs> Um, uh, do you not wish to fight infernalism wherever it is? Are you not a Setite? She says, uh, I will allow you to fight against this mutual enemy and hopefully, uh, destroy yourselves in the process. Once you leave here... Uh, you can assume I will use every means in my power to destroy you if we encounter each other again. Sedelia and her cult have a compound on the interior of the island. I can give you directions. You should be warned, however, that they are well fortified, which is why we have not seen fit to destroy them yet. That was my next question. <laughs> Why are you allowing her here? Yeah. All right. Any information you have on her fortress would be helpful. All right. So she provides you uh, with a file that gives you the location of the place uh, and a rough idea of the exterior defenses. There are guard posts, like guard houses. There's a big wall around it. It's like a fortified compound. One of the drug lords' place. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we broke into a compound once. We should be all right. <laughs> yeah, I think there may be a bit of a difference. Yeah, well, yeah, we may, we may, yeah. This may take some planning. All right. Thank you. Hopefully, we never meet again. We shall see. So. You guys uh, head out, and uh, Sangris, the guy who looks like Sangris, mm -hmm. uh, contacts you and says that uh, he has basically set himself up. He asks if you guys have any more information. Uh, we do. All right. In that case, he suggests everyone meeting up. Sounds good. We reclaim our weapons on the way out, correct? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Back into our car. All right. So, Should we tell Sangris everything? Uh, I feel like we're going to have to, because what else are we going to do? We're going to have to bring him with us, I'm going to think. Yeah. <coughs> True. So, I figure, like, we're going to have to sort of lay everything out and try and figure out a plan into this compound. 
I do have animalism now and I can summon. That's probably what I will do first, is try and get any rats or whatever All right. to give us a better idea. Well, you're going to have to drive out to the compound first. It's like yeah. miles yeah. inland. Well, I figure we're going to plan before so is we there any, some yeah. and whatever. Is there any, what kind of stuff do you guys want to do while you're still in the city before you actually head out to the compound? Is there anything? Uh, I would like to get a little bit more blood. Yeah, you guys can feed if you would like. Yeah, sure. No reason not to. And here, Miles, suggest... it is warm enough that you can find homeless people. Yeah, and I was going to say, do not kill. Very nice. Do no killing of people. I will not kill anyone. And I will say that to Joseph and Jean as well. No killing all right. of the people. Who all is going to... Wow. Uh, who all is going out hunting? I also... Uh, I'm going hunting. All right. San? San? I'll go hunting. Is there, like, Joseph? a Sabbat bishop that we need to present ourselves to no. or anything? Okay. I'm also bringing Abigail with me. All right. Are you going? Um, yes, I can go to make sure they don't kill anybody. <laughs> okay. Uh, and... Uh... Jean. I'm gone. All right, so everyone give me perception plus alertness rolls. Mine is six. Mine is four. four. Mine is six. Mine is five. All right. So each of you is able to find, uh, basically, um, you can try and find someone who seems to be sober if you want to try and disable them, or you can, they're, you are able to find a number of people that are kind of like passed out from some sort of substance abuse, uh, to easily snatch some blood if you want. I'll prefer to go for someone sober. Alright, the rest of you? So that person out. I'll go for a sober person. Okay. Um, I can take a point from a uh, from an inebriated person. All right, I'll John. Just take one. Sober. All right, <laughs> John's uh, grown some balls here. All mm -hmm. right. So first off, uh, I assume you're just going to take what you want by force. Yes. All right. So give me a strength plus brawl. Uh, seven and three potents. All right. Yes, you're able to uh, hold the person down, and you're able to take as much blood as you want. Although more than two will probably kill them. So I can only take two. If you don't want to kill them, it's up to you. Mm. All right, I'll take two. All right, and Hassan. Oh, what's the roll you needed? Uh, strength plus brawl. Strength brawl. That is six free potents. Sorry, five six potents. Five free potents. Fuck. <laughs> six potents. Holy cow. <laughs> five free potents. This this competition between Hassan <laughs> and Joseph is just getting out of control. Six potents. Six potents. <laughs> so I got six potents, motherfucker. Just in case. Seven potents and one celerity. Stand down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, As doctors, I order you to have no more than two potents. You are also able to hold someone down. Uh, how much are you taking? I'll take one point and give one to Abigail. All right. She will accept it gratefully. And All right. Jean. Yeah, I changed my mind. All right. <laughs> so are you not having any blood, or are you going to take inebriated blood? How easy is inebriated? Um, they're passed out. Yeah, there's many uh, opioid and uh, drunk people in Haiti. Uh, it's a I'll have one point. Alright. You find a passed out crackhead and suck on him. Mm-hmm. And then you take his blood. <laughs> and then you take his blood. Alright. So you guys are up on blood. 
Do you guys want to continue to hunt, or are you ready to go? I'm good to go. Let's go. All right. Uh, so, Joseph, you good to go? I'm good. Okay. All right. So you guys head out towards. Oh, 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 oh. one, one more thing. Uh huh. Let's, <laughs> yeah. Let's. Uh, I'm sorry. <coughs> let's let's drain that guy. Make sure he only got a little bit of blood. Oh, oh the, Sangris? No, the Bruja guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he does not agree to that. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. I, think, I think when we decided we were trusting him, we were, oh. trusting, we're aware yeah. that he may turn on us at any time, but I think we were. When he was off oh, on right. his own. I was just going to go out to him. Hey, do you mind if we take, like, yeah, all your blood? When he was off, he fed very well on his own. I was going to say, I think he's, I'm just going to hope he didn't. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. No, we're we're kind of in. We're we're in for a pound on that one. He also helped himself to one of the shotguns, unless someone objected. So. Um, Why are we 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 well, I mean, at this point, I feel like there ain't no point in object. Forward and said we're gonna trust him. It's true. So in this, it's sort of like this. Um, if it works out, then Hassan stays ductus. If it doesn't work <laughs> yeah, out, that's pretty much how this is going <laughs> then Joseph here. steps forward, conveniently ignores the fact that he also said to yeah, trust him, he was, you know, and blames that, Hassan. He says he should not be our exactly. This is, this this is us. ranting if, if we live through this. This is all, you know. If he betrays us, I should be ductus. There you go. <laughs> no. forward to step this. You right. can undergo the ritual All right, to prove boys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to whip him out. We're going to measure. <laughs> then And then we'll know, right? All right. Can we just go and do this and get our yeah. plan? What is, you know... So I'm going to pretty much leave it here. We're getting to the climax. There's not that much left. So rather than have a really, really short session next week, I'm going to call we this... We still haven't done the, memorial, the Yamamoto Memorial. Session here. Yeah. You'll get to it like, in the end. He's been dead a month, and we haven't memorialized him? I mean, I've got a speech and everything. I'll tell you what. We can handle the memorial that happened. We'll roleplay it out. It happened during the downtime. Okay. You All guys right. want a memorial. You guys want to give your speeches. I feel I feel like people prepared something, yes. All right. I spent like five whole minutes on this thing. Yeah. Present your speeches. We'll start with Hassan. He's the most anxious. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'll step up. <clears throat> Mr. Yamamoto served as an ideal of true honor. His unyielding spirit in the face of adversity, his strength and unrivaled skill, and his unmatched decision-making. It all showed me what a true leader is meant to act like. He was a strict but fair teacher that taught by example and spared neither rod nor reward. I was able to learn many things from him, and I hope to honor his memory by making good use of those skills for the sake of the pact. More than anything, I will never forget how he managed to imprint his ideals onto all of us. I am proud to have served alongside him, and I vow to serve the pact as I believe he would have wished for. Thank you. I will now inflict pleasure. What's up? <laughs> 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 this is serious. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah, very serious. Tear to me, I. Do you add at the end as the way he would have wanted? As Ductus. Yeah, as Ductus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, mean, I don't. Vote. I don't because, say by that. By the way, this is the only public speech you get to give before the vote for Ductus, so keep that in mind during these speeches. Okay. All right. Who wants to go next? I've said all I wish to say. Jean or Joseph? I don't have a speech, so... Well, you... I can get up and say a few words? What did Yama well, Does Leon not have to do a speech as well then? Well, as I'm the gonna, priest, he's going to go at the end. Yeah, I'm conducting the ceremony, so I, I'm, I've opened it up. I'd be <laughs> like, we're remembering um, Yamamoto. Would anybody like to say a few words? Hassan got up. You know, uh, Jean, Joseph, the twins, whoever. Does anybody want to say anything? Uh, the twins uh, were uh, too broken up to say anything. The one of them, uh, Sam, was basically distraught and Alex was comforting. Um, I suppose I can go in. Yeah. Please, Joseph. Tell us. Tell us what Yamamoto meant to you. Oh, and just to be clear, the twins are voting members of the Yeah, they are voting the members as of well. the pack. You, you are going to have to get... Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. 
They're, well, that changes things. Also, it hasn't been decided yet whether Abigail will get a vote or not. That's something yeah, as a pack you're also going to have to decide together. I was going to say, on, if on this mission she proves herself. Well, no, I mean, the vote is going to be head, held now during the downtime. Oh, during so the downtime of... it's up to you whether or not you want to allow her a vote anyway. There's no okay. official rules. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I think she's. I think she deserves a vote. Well, anyway, but <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> Oh yes, yes. Um, <laughs> yes. This is while I'm still Josephine, so yeah. yes, you know. we have to go back in time. This is a very convoluted yeah. Donnie Darko kind of a episode here. I'm gonna have the full like black clothes on and everything. Got a veil on or whatever. Just Yamamoto meant so much to me. He was such a great leader. You know, back when I was a man, he taught me so many things about being a vampire and just he's just so great and then i'll start breaking down in tears oh, oh a little, little catch of the voice and everything, and everything. Yeah. exactly exactly just i just i don't know how we're gonna how we're gonna make it without him i just he's just so and i just i i stop there and i start bawling my eyes out and then i, I just walk off stage <laughs> wow. Wow. see women are so emotional is that leadership mm -hmm. i don't know can we trust? <laughs> that didn't seem very rational. It wasn't so a dark behavior. Also, Josephine's voice was very shrill. Sale, I'm just going to say that. She, yeah. She's very shrill. <laughs> Here's an important, important question. Important question. Was it like cute fake crying or was it like disgusting snot everywhere mm -hmm. crying? Oh, it was. It was well, he doesn't have fluids. He's a vampire. Crying. And you know what I mean, though. It's blood everywhere. <laughs> it's, you know, blood coming out the nose and the eyes. It's, it's you know, that's why I was wearing the veil. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jean, I had it all planned out. Jean, would you like to say a few words? No. Hmm. Interesting. Well, then, I guess... I assume, I assume we've got like a picture of Yamamoto yeah. like up with candles and whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. So, all right. Well, we all know how much Yamamoto meant to each and every one of us. What a wonderful leader he was and, and the amazing sacrifice that he performed for this pack. So, we will miss you and I will make a little offering or whatever there to the mm -hmm. picture. All right. In my voodoo ancestor worship way. So first off, before any sort of voting, I will say it would be probably appropriate to hold a vinculum. Well, I assume or we, a would, we would rather. be doing a baldry. Yeah. And then yeah, I mean. with, with the cup there in front of Yamamoto, I will slash my uh, wrist and, and bleed into the cup, and then I will pass the cup around. Absolutely. So why don't right. we uh, do some rolling? Let me uh, pull up your guys' bank I think for you John forward. is the only one you're going to need to roll for. Oh, <laughs> no, the twins. I guess the twins can be rolled for. But everybody else, um, they can't go up any higher. <laughs> All right. Just doing the twins first here, so I'm just gonna be rolling and adjusting numbers. Yeah, I don't know right. why numbers are correct. I have an updated file. Yeah. Hey, oh, don't look at the Vinculum uh, no, writings. I was just looking at me. Yeah. <laughs> don't I look at the stuff. I expect you guys to uh, keep track of your own. Oh yeah, of course. It's on the honor system, which Jean doesn't, you know. <laughs> uh, I wish I didn't respect the system, trust me. Alright, so for Mary. Uh -huh. uh, male twin remains the same. Okay. Female twin remains the same. Uh, Hassan remains the same. Jean goes up. Okay. Joseph uh -huh. goes up. Jean, I think I actually like you now. Jean and Joseph Yay. go up. 
Now for Miles. I almost like you better than one of the twins. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. When we slept in the basement, I wanted to I wanted to come onto Leon, but did that work? <laughs> I don't know. Did I, it? I was gonna say we are. Uh, hmm. We might have to roleplay that. <laughs> well, we'll handle that afterwards as well. <laughs> All right, you threw me off here. All right, so we're doing uh... <laughs> my hermaphrodism. All right, so Miles, your rating towards Jean went up by one. All right, and then just we, look at... we are doing David's now. All right. Uh, your rating towards the male twin went up. Your rating towards Hassan went up. And that's it. Joke's on you, they're both 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really have an update. You, you've been sucking on say, a lot of blood. Yeah, I was going to say that's... Uh, so for Joseph... No, that's not true. The, <laughs> they, they weren't already on. The female twin went up. Uh, Hassan went up. Jean went up. Uh, yes. <laughs> Slowly, people start to yeah. like you. It's so, because you've changed now. It's because so you're... <laughs> Joseph, yeah, female yeah, twin, definitely. Hassan, and Jean all went up. Gotcha. All right, so now, All right. before we handle the sex scene between you and okay. David, um, like the ninth one, but the first one between <laughs> these characters. Yeah. Uh, let's have the formal vote now. All right. First off, first order of business, decide, does Abigail get a vote on who the next Ductus is? I vote yes. And Joseph, I yeah. believe you said you voted yes as well. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Sean? Yeah. Yes? Male, female twins? Yes. Uh, well, we're waiting for you. Well, I'm conducting the You're whole conducting thing. You're conducting it? All right. I'm, like, I'm waiting. Uh, they will go a one yes and one no. All right. So that makes four of the... Four to one. Four to one, so it's I, I'm going to say that that carries. All right. So, Abigail, you shall have a vote. We must elect a new ductus to replace our fallen leader, Yamamoto. She says, well, who, who are the candidates? Those who wish to be ductus, please present yourselves. I will step forward. Anyone else? I think Stallworth may be gone. No. That's why I'm going to give him the opportunity. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so this, just... is, this is the formal moment. Anyone who wishes to be Ductus, please present please yourselves. Present yourselves. Oh, well, I'll throw my hat in the ring. <laughs> so Joseph also steps forward. I'll look at the twins. They will not. Neither of them steps forward. I'll look at Jean. All right. Okay. All right. Well, we have two contestants. We shall have a a contest. Then is what we shall have. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. I'm trying to think of a good contest. Well, this is mainly just battle, right? Well, really, no. What that's only if he there's a challenge. Then there's a battle. Oh. Um, obviously, you are free to inflict whatever, like proving yourself, you want to do. You could do the proving after the voting has taken place to see if they're worthy of it, or you could have both of them uh, prove themselves first and then oh, well, the voting begins. I think we begins. should have the proving of ourselves first, so we know what we're voting for. I mean, this is essentially. Yeah. Um, we need to see your medal. Not that we've not seen it hundreds of times before <laughs> in the numerous other tests of pain that have been <laughs> gone. But now we need to see. A so true I need tester. To... Who can inflict the most pleasure? Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to need to... Um, hmm. It is so... my specialty. 
So yes, we know that they both, well, we do know that Joseph ran in from the Sundance. Whoa, whoa, that was a long time ago. So maybe he should redeem himself by taking that test again. So what sort of, <laughs> and this is out of character, just for the pack here, what sorts of of trials do you want to see them undergo that you think would help you to decide who would be the best leader? I the mean, song. You could do the sun test, although you are kind of going on a mission. We are going so... on a mission, so maybe not aggravated damage. The other thing is you could decide the voting takes place and then you could postpone. You could do a ritual after the voting has taken place for them to prove themselves and then that person could do the sun dance again if you wanted to do it that way and then if they failed the test or didn't impress everyone then you could do another round of voting it's up to you yeah, guys yeah. how you want to do it so okay so we've had okay so let's go through the tests of pain that that we have endured hassan mm -hmm. has always one i've whipped him he handled that quite well yeah um, we didn't really act out the, uh, gauntlet where he caught on fire with the cattle prods. Yeah. That kind of thing. But we'll assume that he did fairly well on that. Um, let's see. We had the, we know the sun dance. We both did. Joseph ran in at the first. Um, Joseph was also losing his very first gauntlet. And he did not do well in his first running of the gauntlet. So, uh, it's true. Whoa, now, whoa, he whoa, was, whoa, whoa. now he did redeem himself slightly with the whole uh, hooking the nerves up to the dead people and that. All of his failures were before he adopted the path of Cathar. Yes. So, so yes. there was a there was a character arc here, and and I feel that you know maybe he has has grown as a person or a vampire. Thank you. And let's also remember, my very first gauntlet was against my sire. I, I had no chance of winning. No, well, we actually, it wasn't sure. against your sire because no, that's um, what you proved to get out of it. Because you're your sire. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and, and, yeah. So, huh. So do we want, like, an endurance test or, hmm, I'm just not sure. I leave that for you to decide. I'm just, well, this is me out of character just sort of asking the group. I will refrain from having a say in this. Because you don't want your character to go through whatever. No, because I want you to decide. Oh. Whatever it should be. Like it should be something where there's sort of like a definite end to it. Like it's just something they endure. They're not like trying to compete against each other in whatever this is. They're just trying to prove that they have what it takes to be eligible for voting. So, should we do... Uh, um, here's where... Oh, I, I got one. I got one. Okay. So, we uh, inflict pain through whatever means, and the test is who can uh, with resist frenzy the longest. Well, see, that's the, the thing. First it's, one to go oh, it's, it's, not, it's not a It's not a competition thing. It's not a who wins. It's not a, it's wins. Not a who gets They have the to prove themselves... And to then, be eligible right. for voting, so if they shouldn't be competing against Okay, 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 okay fine. So we just, we just take note of how long it took each of them to go into well, frenzy. That's okay, so and here's where I'm based leaning. on that. Here's where I'm leaning and see if this is so. If this is something that will satisfy you, I'm I'm leaning toward the Indian stick test, where we essentially impale these two, and they have to essentially rip themselves off of the implement. Before the sun. You are cutting out a lot, both of you. Yes, but that sounded terrible. Mm -hmm. I, I can't hear anything. I'm going to have to rejoin okay, the call. So the, so the Indian stick test, where we essentially impale you on a spike, and you then yeah. have to yeah. rip yourself off of the spike before the sun rises. So All right. Good. Fine by me. If that That's what you choose. Right, that will show your determination to be the leader of this path. And your ability to get off spikes. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys both agree to that? I agree with that. All right. So then, uh, what they do? Uh, so, are you going to do this like full Vlad the Impaler style? Um, 
through the anus out the mouth? Yeah. yeah. That's the most appropriate way. Okay. Or at least, you know, through the anus, like... wherever it comes out. Yeah, I was going to say it. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. We do need to miss Or the how about... How about through the mouth, out the anus? We could do it that way as well. <laughs> they have to do it upside down. Uh, Even I mean, harder. Is it? I feel like it would be easier. I feel like it would be, Because yeah. then you would have your arms really? directly in front of you, and you could just push yourself back uh, up the pole. Ah, uh, okay. yeah, you're right, you're right. I would right. love to okay, be able to face is... down on a pole. That would be yeah. super simple. <laughs> Going up your ass <laughs> is fucking impossible. <laughs> So what are you impaling I, us I with? Think that I'm going to say, I think the, the Indians did it as through the abdomen suspended in the air. Yeah. So they didn't have any sort of thing. But we could do it however. You could do it that way as well. So It's up um, to you. What are you impaling us with, exactly? A um, uh, 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 spike, a stick, a... Big metal pole? A big, yeah. All right. So... I don't know. I'll do you rather it. do? Do you want to um, be impale vertical, or horizontal? vertical or horizontal? What do you think, David? That's up for you to decide. I guess vertical would be more of a ripping uh, off of the thing, unless you could. But they do need to be suspended from the in the air somewhat, so that they have no leverage to simply climb off. Yeah. You know I'm saying? I mean, they would have to work their way up. They would yeah. have to, like, use their feet to... Yeah. Yeah. Because, so, yeah. I mean, you could bind their hands and feet, too. Yeah, we could. They could undo the binding, way. force themselves up off okay. the pole. So it's sort of a Houdini kind of thing yeah. going on here. All right. That could be fun. All right. I think this will be fun. I think I think we're going to watch <laughs> this. Okay, this will be good. We will bind your hands and feet, because what we want to see is your ingenuity in getting out of these this uh this situation because as a leader you're going to need to come up with plans and things like that okay this is all right all right this. so they bind your hands together and you guys have a metal pole jammed up your ass through your chest okay i'm not going to deal with the damage directly because this was happening during downtime and it's all okay. normal damage all right so and then you have a you know, sunrise it to it hurts. So it's obviously if you do not get off the pole, we will take you off the pole. But that's mm -hmm. you're not eligible for yeah, that, I mean, the voting got, at that point. So it's it's through the colon, colon, right? It's like through the ass mm -hmm. up oh, through yeah. the mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So first off, uh, you guys are up there. What? Uh, right. Your hands and feet are bound. <laughs> And uh, you can see that on the horizon, the sun is beginning to rise. All right, so what I will do is, since I've been impaled, I can likely start bleeding, can't I? Uh, yeah. I'll do so, because my blood can be made into poison, or like acidic. acidic. Uh, so I'll use that to break through my bindings. All right, give me uh, the book, and I will look up to make sure that it can be used that way. Uh, give me what, sorry? Uh, no, I was talking to Mary. Ah, oh, sorry. I'm He's looking up Quietus to make sure that that's kosher. Yeah, I believe this is Quietus level 4. One second, I'll look it up myself. Alright. Uh, I am afraid that it specifically says that it is a ichor which destroys living or undead flesh, but it does not mention inorganic tissue. Hold on one second uh. here. Oh, now my book is messing up. Uh. <laughs> that would have been good, though. Would have been impressive. At level five, uh -huh. you can spit caustic, uh, caustic blood at a target, which can burn flesh and corrode bone. I think that would definitely apply. But if you are using quiet as four, it obviously wouldn't destroy inorganic material because you coat your weapons in it. Mm -hmm. It would be destroying your sword. <laughs> Guess you're right. My bad then. 
little more of a pickle than I thought. Shit, I realized. <laughs> You're like the magician that gets up there and then realizes he's in really over his head. I figured it was. I figured it was the same poison, just in different ways to be applied. Uh, no. You would need level five quietus. All right. Well. Hmm. All right. Ooh, this is gonna be a little more of a battle than we anticipated. You know, I'm like cross-legged, just sitting there, just watching. I am anxious. So to my see. hands are my hands and feet are tied, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right then. Uh, what are they tied with? Just regular rope? I assume hemp rope. Sure. Yeah. Or we zip ties. We might do zip ties. Could do that. Probably rope would be the more traditional sort okay. of thing. All right. Right then, I'll attempt to break free of those. All right. Give me a strength plus potence. Am I allowed to use buff to, uh, blood to buff blood to buff myself during this test? Um, Is that acceptable? Uh, I don't know. Priest, what do you think? Um, I would... I would say yes, because obviously when we go into battle, All right. um, it would be okay to buff. Yeah. Okay. Right. In that case, strength plus potence is six strength, three potence. So how, and many, how many turns does it take you to get up to six strength? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm better I'm doing it while I'm buffing myself. Yeah, I know, but like, the buffing no, my natural start strength was, until... My natural strength is three. All right, so it took you three turns? Yeah. All right. During that time, Stallworth, what do you want to be doing? Um. Well, I'm planning on busting free of these uh these ropes. All right. Uh, All right. I'm planning on also. I I can buff my strength also, right? Yes, you can. Okay. Well, mine is already at five, so I'll buff it up one to go to six, and uh. I got three potents, so I'll see about busting out of these ropes. All right, Hassan, you begin buffing your blood to increase your strength when you see Joseph easily tear through these ropes like paper. And uh, Joseph, <laughs> your hands are now free, so we'll go back to Hassan. You've so far buffed your blood by one level. And oh, didn't he also spend a turn buffing? All right, we also um, know well. This. Yeah, you're up to, it's the next level, so you've got one blood, and you can spend another point to buff and do something this turn. So, Jean I mean, didn't he have to say that he was spending a turn to buff? Yes, I'm saying you can buff while you do something. You were, I, as I understood it, you were waiting to buff up before you actually ripped the thing, whereas he did I specifically said I was doing the opposite, that I was ripping while I was buffing. Oh, okay. So in that case, what is uh, your current strength with one buff? Point. That is four free potents. All right. Also, we're power point. Okay. <laughs> no, no. They... So as you make a determined effort, you also break through the bonds at about the same time. Uh, like right. you were kind of waiting a little bit for the buff. You saw his go, and then instantly you realized it was on, and like you broke it like a, right. the well, same time. Pretty there much. There will be a murmur from the onlooking crowd as we all nod to one another at this. So what are you guys gonna do? Now. You've got a stick up your ass. <laughs> uh, then what is the um, stick implanted into? The ground. How far down? Um, it's been like driven into concrete, I would imagine. I don't know how far down, probably foot, two feet. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's sturdy. About a meter. Oh, that's quite far down. How far up do we have to climb? Um, looking up above you, there's about uh, a foot of pole past your head. Oh, okay. Start climbing. Well, me personally, I'm yeah, I'm start climbing. All right. Yeah, I'll using I'll using celerity. Well, I'm I'm buffing my strength finished first before your celerity. Okay, so give me a strength plus athletics checks each of you. Mine is at this point eight. Good PowerPoint. And also free potence. All right. Okay. Uh, mine, okay. mine is six, 
and three potents, and I'll also use will power point. <laughs> you guys easily uh, climb off at basically the same time. You guys both just, just shoot up this thing. And it's like, Mario, you do a little handstand at the top and then flip off. And get off. And <laughs> crawl your way back inside. Both of them and completed like, it quite easily. Sorted. There's a little murmur in the cloud as, in the crowd again as we all compare notes. So voting time. What are you our, guys going to decide? As priests now. Yeah. Gonna herd everybody back in. Okay gather around the little picture of Yamamoto. Yeah. And be like, okay now, it is time to vote. You have seen our two candidates. What they can do. So now I shall go around. I'll start with the female twin. Who does she vote for? She says, hmm. Ah, uh, I've, I, Pass. We'll come back to you. I've made love to both of them. Mm. It's <laughs> difficult to decide. Male twin, do you have a... I've similarly made love <laughs> to both of them. Alright. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll start, I guess, with Jean, then. Hassan. Since Zach is three people, and I can't get him to commit. So, Jean goes for Hassan. Okay. And I'm going to assume Joseph is voting voting for Joseph. Unless Joseph, who do you vote for? Uh, I'm voting for myself. Okay, Hassan. I am voting for myself. Okay, so there's two now for Hassan, and one for Joseph. All right. So Abigail kind of looks over at both of you. Uh, by the way, this is uh, <laughs> this is not too long after everything that happened in the downtime. Mm -hmm. uh. And then she looks over at Joseph and she says, Joseph. <gasps> yes. Oh. Oh. All right, now who uh. wins? They kind of both nod and said, we've made our decision. Hassan, Joseph, they say at the okay. same time. See, Each I of them know, says something three else. To three. Uh. All right. Falls to me. <laughs> I come Don't and I stand before Joseph. the two of you. I love you both dearly. Literally, love, love you. Both. You have also. I have also <laughs> had sex with. Both I have of also them. had sex with both of you. Joseph allows me to inflict him with pain, and obviously Hassan is how to inflict pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> you both did extremely well in the test of pain. But after much consideration... <laughs> I'm going to feel that Hassan would be the better leader, as he is on the path of honorable accord, as Yamamoto was, and he has shown himself a worthy ductus while he has been in charge, and so my vote is for Hassan. Mm. Mm. Well, Joseph, after hearing this, uh, he turns and he uh, looks at Hassan. Well, I guess she, because I'm still a girl yeah. at this point. Yeah. Uh, I extend my hand and I say, uh, uh, I look forward to your continued leadership, Ductus. I accept the handshake. I only hope I will not disappoint. I have all the faith in the world. Thank you. Now that it's been officially decided, Josephine, or Joseph, whenever you feel that he has disappointed, you are free, of course, to challenge him to a monomacy <laughs> duel for superiority. Uh, 
All right. Afterwards, yeah. another vote would be held, but I think if you say whoever successfully killed the other one <laughs> would have a strong advantage in the runoff election. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that is where I think we're going to end the session this week. So first off, uh, everyone, tell us what you learned. Let's start with Ductus Hassan. <laughs> I learned about the Indian spike uh, method of well, right. this particular test of pain. It's a new one. And a uh, priest, Lysia. Uh, what did I learn? I learned about uh, Celia the Tongue. All right. As, an in, in, as a famous infernalist. Not Ductus Joseph. <laughs> uh, I learned about the, uh, the war down in Haiti. All right. And Pussy Boy uh, Jean. Ex Pussy Boy Jean. Well, I learned, I learned about the specifics of the Asamite blood type. All right. And uh, now we're going to vote for who won uh, the role playing award. So, uh, Pussy Boy Jean. All right. I believe I won last time, right? Uh, I think you did, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see here. Hmm. Well, yeah, with the challenge at all, I think Mary really... All right. I'll give it to Mary. So, Mary, who are you voting for? I have to think through the episode. I'm gonna give it to Hassan for his moving speech. Of, All right. Uh, of Yamamoto. Well, that and the inflicting of pleasure. <laughs> brilliant, right there. And so. Hassan. Uh, I'll give it to Leo and Leslie. See you. All right. And uh, Stalworth. Yeah, I had to give it to uh, Alicia. All right. So Alicia picks up four experience points. Everyone else gets three. Not like we can spend them, though. Uh, yeah. So, uh, we may use these characters again at some point, someday. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, the right. plan is for the next episode to be the final episode. Anyway, so that's it mm. for the stream. So, uh, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya.